All right, let's go. So let's start off with a Falcon. Falcon first, then we'll do him so after. Been wanting to do this all week, but uh, all the rain stuff is pretty exciting. Hopefully next season we'll get wet Falcon as well. That'd be fucking mental. Wait, this has a chicane or what? Is this with... Okay, this chicane down here. Why the... Oh. Um, what's up guys? What's up guys? So yeah, this should be a quite an interesting one. Why is that wall so white? What the fuck? Is that normal? What's up fellow streamer? Ah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it was Darius. Oh man, I love the brakes on this car. <laughs> Dario is here, let's go. Sixty percent brake bias. I I'm running the setup that the Apex the 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 season uh, season three twenty four setup. So it's probably not the best, but you know, let's see. I mean, this chicane should probably help a lot of the crazy shit that goes on in at this track, but it's not going to eliminate it by any means. How has it been this week for people that have done it? So I can imagine it's a pretty hectic combo. <laughs> Let's go! Papa's Bless. Papa's Bless Gaming just resubscribed for four months in just too cool. Too cool? You are too cool. You need to dial that down a little bit. Thank you for the sub, man. Stappen was farming this? What, this? An LMP3? I've never seen him not drive a GT3. Well, that's not true. The occasional single seater, that's it. I don't think I've seen him in a prototype. Oh no, I saw him. He did he did an LMDH once. Still, that's rare. F4 with Team Redline. Does he? Oh. On a new account. Oh right, yeah. The the other yeah. Bullshit. Heard about that. I saw someone post on Reddit or something. The Bus Gaming just gifted one subs. Ah, oh, Papa's Bless, thank you for the gifted man. Appreciate that, thank you. On top of the sub already? Wow. Thank you, man. Let's go, Papa's Bless, thank you, man. Legend. Fuck. All right. Well, I mean, I'm just getting a few laps into this. Just get used to it again. Look for Drake came back to it. There it is. There it is. Giga emo Look, I didn't even get a 1x for that. That 1x is so bugged, man. It's Jermaine Estevez. Oh, Darius catching me again. Alright, we're in a race now. 
Mustn't let Dario pass. What's up, Pelicano? Driving this POV is better? Yes, of course. Superior. Superior vision. I mean, it's... You do what you want. It's not better or worse. I can just see more. Do I do this in LMP2? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I do this in LMDH as well. LMP1, although they don't run that anymore. Uh, F3. Super Formula Lights. F4, I run this POV as well. Although there it's stock, so it's fine. See, bring in LMP2. Uh, next week, I'm going to try LMDH and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll do a bit of practice tomorrow. See if I can keep the thing on the track in the wet. I'll be doing the Sebring 12 hours as well. In an LMDH. Um, so, <laughs> need to figure that one out. Be my first special event. That'll be cool. Yeah, I'm doing the 12 hour. It's probably good. It's going to be a terrible idea, but. Oh my god, what the fuck's going on here? Three cars, what the fuck? With who? With um, Precision. They've been giving me uh, Hyperdoc setups. Cross split. Ah. Uh, I mean, the way my fucking eye rating's been going down since, like, since rain came out. I don't know. But let's see. Who the F? I should make a... I'll, I'll, do, I'll tell you more about it when we get closer. But yeah, I'll be doing the 12 hours. It'll be fun. Let's see. Uh, Ardoc's one of them. By the way. 8.8k. Yeah. It's the thing. Like, I'm 7. I might even lose my 7 this week. Because of all the rain bollocks. So I don't think I'll be top split. I'll probably be second split. I mean, let's see. But yeah, I think it'll be second split. Probably. 9k in our hearts. Oh, thanks, man. Like, I was, I was thinking when the license split would come around that the formula license would be my, like, you know, beta license where I kind of, like, smurf a little bit, do some, like, random stuff. But then we're, like, <laughs> not even a week into the new license split. I'm already 300 I rating higher on formula. <laughs> than I am on sports car. It was mainly those two DNFs in uh, IMSA. And DH is spinning out of nowhere. But your B license. you got to get your A license, Jared. you got to get it, man. A license is the shit. Although I'm losing... I'm close to losing my A license. What am I, 2.2, dude? I really need this race to be clean. <laughs> LMDH is GTP. Yes, correcto mundo. Uh, I'll get a quick ad in here now. All right, guys, join in the race. Almost like you're a real Formula driver. Yeah, but I know, but like... Before, like, I've, I've used IMSA. Like, IMSA has, has boosted my IR just because, like, I feel like it has. Like, because they have higher SOFs because they have less cars in there. So, if you do well in an IMSA race, you get more I rating from it than if you're doing Formula. Because, um, like, Formula is much more Bullshit. random. I feel like. You just get taken out. Bronze underscore Swan just resubscribed Bronze Swan. for seven months. Bronze Swan, thank you for the, 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 the sub, man. Do you think you could get 9k if you just farm one combo? Yeah, man. I mean, like, 
theoretically, I mean, it's... Good morning, Mr. Email and Chat. Hello, Pepe. <laughs> hello, LFS. Um, so, like... Theoretically, yeah, I think so. I think I could. I mean, if you just do one combo, like, it's all about, like, if you just don't crash. Like, crashing is the worst thing, so, like... You feel a long time, though, see? You have to not crash, and then pick a combo that you can reliably win at. Um, which, for a while, for me, would have been... Um, Formula Ford, although I don't know if I can still do that. I think people got quite good at that now. But I think I could have reached like 10k if I just farmed Formula Ford back to back. Like when it came out. But, uh... You know. It's all theory, man. It's really hard. You have to spend a lot of fucking time doing it. So, if you ask me if I, if I think I could, like, theoretically, yes, but practically, no, because I just get bored. You, but it will be okay. I promise we have already let everyone know to leave you through, so no worries. Don't murder any. <laughs> That's better. Is that better? Yeah, whatever. But yeah, so like, you know, you can always go like theoretically, but like actually practically doing it. And I don't, I don't like, I would want it, but I would also want to have a Smurf account. And I just don't want to pay that money, you know. So, uh, but now, now I've, I was gonna, I was gonna leave like Formula to be a bit more my Smurf account, but now I have high I rating on Formula. So lol, maybe I'll just, but there's no, there's no point having a high Formula rating. At all, because there's no special events. Ten K running PCC, yeah. There was a couple guy. Well, there was one guy that got that, didn't he? Yeah, it was it was like Cam, I think. What was his name? Fucking mad lad. He's Freddy's account as a Smurf. Well. Cam, yeah, Evan, yeah, exactly. Mad lad. I mean, like, I'd, I'd get it if it was, like, advanced Mazda only, but the fact it was fucking, um, fuck it, he was racing PCC as well, man. Lunatic. The split improved formula participation. That's good, man. Yeah. Let's see if it lasts. Hopefully it'll last. Anyway, we got a set of quality time now. We've got 14 cars in here. 3.3k soft. Dario's here. Shoma's here, okay. Seen Adam before, Tomas as well. So it won't be an easy one. Ah, oh, fuck, of course. I need to not do 1x's, man. I'm here a little bit for SR. I need some SR from this. Fuck. <laughs> Can they not just make that AstroTurf there slippy or something so we don't have the option of even going out there, man? It's fucking annoying. Died on the couch. How was the stream yesterday? I was good. I'm glad you resurrected. Congratulations. Yeah, it was fun yesterday. It was really fun. Thanks for showing up, guys. Top of the pits, I pace. No. We've got to win, man. Plus, I, like, I don't even think that's safe around here with all the traffic and that. 
All right, come on. This lap has to actually count. Come on. <laughs> okay. A little bit conservative there. Can go a little bit quicker than that. But not here. Here we have to be very careful. Oh, fucking accidental upshift. Is there a centre cockpit LMP3 in real life? Lol, okay, perfect. There you go. Realistic view. Finally, I've been vindicated. Alright, we've got a lap on the board. I'm just going to keep driving around. Do you still get SR if you drive around in, uh, in, in quali? Oh, we're only two tenths off P1. I lost all of that in T1 and T2. No, T1 wasn't too. No, it was mainly T1. Find <laughs> the clip, I need to see. One in lap, okay. What's up, Ardog? How you doing, man? Not worth. I mean, I'm just getting a bit practicing as well. Ah, uh, no. That I qualified by a 1.9k driver. Like, I don't mind, like, his number, right? It's more just the, the fact he's probably going to crash. Unless he's on his way up through the ranks, right? Unless he's a good driver, like a real-life driver or something. I've never seen him before, so maybe that's that's what's going on. There's a gap. There is a gap, Pelican. No, you're right. Do you want anything there? What do you want there? I could put anything there. Real life driver's not usually better though. No, like to begin with, right? Because you'd see you'd see that license, you go like that guy's a beginner. Either that or he crashes a lot. With that kind of speed. But then if he's a real life driver, he might actually do well, you know. He's just on his way up, farming some, getting some I rating, going through the, going up to A license. What should we put there? What do you want? Up at the top. We could put anything. We could put anything. Car looks American. It's not American. It's Aquafresh, bro. Is America? Is Aquafresh American? Didn't think so. Well, I mean, it might be. I don't know. I don't know fucking clue. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> Crash lot in the beginning because I didn't care. Yeah, same. Red, white, and blue means America. Yeah, or France, or or UK, or Holland, or or America. <laughs> Sorry, not Holland. Netherlands. Sorry, Netherlands. Netherlands. For now. Traffic indicator. Oh, that's quite cool. I've never used that. But uh, we'll leave that off. Whatever. I'm not going to mess around with my overlay before quali. Uh, before the race. What I do need to do is put a... Put the race setup on. For some reason, my stream deck isn't really working. Didn't connect to OBS properly. Dario washed. <laughs> nah, 
I mean, I don't think Dario's rating will be as high in sports cars as, as it is in open wheel. Naturally. I don't know. Does Dario do a lot of sports? He mainly does, like... I mean, <laughs> he gets all his rating from Skippies. We all know that. <laughs> but, no, he's, he's quick. He's good. Um... Let's, uh, I think he should be a little bit lower in sports car than he is in Formula. He's really good in Formula. Um, probably like, I mean, me, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see where mine's going to settle. I thought I'd be high on both, but I'm just losing out in sports car. Anyway, guys, let's go. Let's get this shit show on the road. Ba 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 ba. Good luck and have fun. That's what you got. That's what you want to know. That's what you need. You need to have fun and you need good luck, and then everything will be fine. I mean, have fun. Good luck and have fun. It's very easy to have fun when you got good luck. Good luck, everyone. Oh god, they all say, they're all saying that as if it's you need luck around here. The way everyone's just wishing good luck, they're like, good luck, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> there isn't enough luck for everyone. Good luck. No, I mean it's it's not you know, everyone can have good luck. Alright, let's see what we do. Always the guys that crash two one that say that. Like IR, oh, yeah, there's just a pool of luck at the start. <laughs> I don't know, it, like if everyone crashed in T1, then everyone has bad luck, you know. Whereas if everyone makes it and doesn't have a single incident all race, that's good luck. Or it's just skill, you know. I hate people wishing me luck because I don't need luck. I have skill. Wish me good skill next time, huh? <laughs> All right, fuck. <laughs> Let's go. Put green flag here. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see if we can get follow Adam at the start here. Where the fuck? Sorry, sorry. Where the fuck did he come from? You guys might have lied. I don't know how I survived that, but I survived that. What the fuck? Full of smoke, curves everywhere, just keep on pounding her. Keep on pounding. You deal with the Where the fuck did Shoma come from, though? <laughs> I was just like. I was trying to make it move on P2, and then all of a sudden, with fucking three wide into turn one, we all went on the green. Radio check. Your voice sounds like a wizard. <laughs> Alright, Jim's back. on the limit. I really don't want any incidents here, man. Uh, 
Thanks, Mama. <laughs> is it Johnny Bravo's in the fucking chat? <laughs> hey, sexy mama. Oi. What the fuck, man? Ugh. Ah. Human leg. Fucking still there. Ooh. Still there. Ha ha ha. All clear. Six. Mate, that was mental. Did you guys see that? The fucking. I did a slide in the right hander going into the chicane, and then when I get to the next fucking right hander, the left rear has no grip. What the fuck? Felt like it. Okay, when are we catching the traffic? Is this the real life? This is the fastest lap for Hideki. 124.48. Ah, oh, come on, mate. This fucking 1X is such a okay, ball ache. We've got out of track limits. Keep it between the lines. Force a mistake. All right. Well, uh, I guess we wait for a mistake. See what happens. Oh, slow moving GT4. Ah, oh, what was that, mate? What? What did I do? Why did it give me what? What the fuck? So you bring will give you a time? Well, yeah, I hope so. If I even get that far. Before I'm demoted. There we go. Oh, okay. Thank you, Bruno. Let's go, let's go. Don't let this guy distract you. 
quicker than us entering Lodge. Got one X and Wem, so it's still in the pizza. A 1x is a win at Wayne so man. Especially around uh, Suzuka. The guy ahead's last lap time is a 124.82. Keep it up, we're looking good. Oh, here. illegal, illegal. Five. Give him a drive through. Oh, fuck. Oh, I doubt he's got some pace, so. That's good, we might be able to catch the next two guys. Or three guys. Let's see how many there are. Coming up on a slower class <laughs> Jack car. was trying to instead of 1x. People will respect the rules. Moron left bang, and the car is gone. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Honestly, I kind of just want to finish a prototype race, man. After last week, IMSA, man. The gap to Brad Dini. Ahead is now 1.3. The guy ahead has just posted a 124.49. You're approaching a group of slower class cars. Oh. Really right. Clear. Car is really right, Papa. A modern cadaver. I sense a lot of PTSD in these uh, in these GT4s, man. There's an incident in Shell Oil's corner. <laughs> That's why, I suppose. Wow, look at those three LMP3s up there. Did you kill there. the guy, Emil? No! Wasn't me, wasn't me. Slower class car ahead. Bold of him to make that claim with no evidence. Did I watch any Sebring? I did watch a bit. I, ended up, I watched like half an hour. I think it was about 10 hours into the race or no, um, That's 20 minutes to go. 10 hours to minutes. go. So I watched half an hour of it. I saw the flip from, uh, from the caddy. Must be scary as hell, man. I was watching, I saw him like, they took him, they took so long to get him out of the car, man. Must be so scary being stuck there after a crash. Like I know there's not many fires these days, but still. Two cars with less than one second, the end between P1 and P2. But that's because they have course, full course, course cautions all the time, isn't it? Not really that big of an achievement when you. Constantly have yellows, full course yellows. Okay, Emilio, slower cars ahead. These guys will be fighting for position. Still they cool, might not but see you. it just makes like 90% of the race completely really pointless. Ready. Almost. The gap is now 0.9. All right, bang. You guys are insane. Is gone. Idiot left at your car. Was it a real 12 hour 11.58? It's just about not breaking down and not going too many laps down in the first bit. I don't know, I mean, it's still cool, but it's it's just less amazing when it's like, oh, it's so close to the end. It's like, yeah, well. You're coming up on a P5. Your lap time was 125.85. Cool Sector three is 1.1 seconds off the pace. Ah, oh, you gotta slow down, yeah. I wasn't watching. Let's go, freebie! 
Good work, mate. Keep it. Pause, la la la. Ha ha ha. Clear of the bandit. Gap two. Ratini. Behind us now. 1.0. Okay. Back up into fourth. This is a tough combo, man. It's so much fun. Uh, full course caution survival is more tougher because uh, there's more like racing. Yeah, I guess so. Slower cars ahead. These guys are scrapping for. Abandoned left. Idiot has gone. Probably crashed. New fastest lap for. Here they come. One twenty four. One two seven. P four. Still losing the IR. I don't know. There's only 14 cars in the race, in our race. So, being fourth in a 3.3k soft usually will make me lose. Ahead is now 1.5. Jamie, mate, use your fucking brain. <laughs> Use your brain. If you quick just stay behind me, don't die from me into there, like, honestly. Honestly? Yeah, these guys are insane. <laughs> I mean, I get dive bombs into corners where, like, they're actually quicker, like, downforce, but into the fucking carousel, like, we're not any slower than the fair, and just puts his front nose on my right rear, like, stupid on the key. 24.00 But so he just hasn't thought about it at all Yeah, it's all fever instinct, there's no thinking Do I center cam all my cars? No, you can't center cam the GTs But the prototypes I do. Thinking has no place in motorsport. Exactly. Okay, Emilio, 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Thinking's for the engineers. Home. We've got plenty of fuel. This is 1.9 smoking. Well, we're catching him a little bit. But I'm guessing either he's a real driver or uh, or he the normally crashes. In front is now 1.5 seconds. The car in front has just done a 124.35. Oh, he's just someone who's really good at racing games. Who's new tire racing? Wants to do some rain races with the new updates speeding through the license classes I think it's for the engine Ex exactly <laughs> no wait no He's a cricketer. Ah, he's a sportsman. There you go. Oh wait, we're not catching him. Well, we're running pretty much for his pace. See what happens in the next run through traffic if we get any. Yeah, we'll definitely get another run through traffic. 
They're all spaced out now as well. Okay, Emilio, there's a car exit in the pits, heads up. Your last lap time was a 124.20. The guy behind has just done a 124.28. Shintani. Ahead is now 1.3 seconds. Right hand battery <laughs> should try passing on the left. Okay, no two. <laughs> is, it, is he actually a cricketer? That'd be fucking funny. Oh my god. Slower class car ahead. Were they four wide up there? Oh shit, no, no. There you go. That's why he's 1.9k. There you go. There's an incident in Druids. Left side. Really? Oh my god, where the fuck? Where are you going, bro? That was a 126.52. Sector 1 is quick. Sector 2 time is quick. Sector 3 is 2.5 off the pace. Thank you. Gap 2. Behind is now 2.8 seconds. He has scored 45 runs with the highest score of 20 and taken 70. Crickets with the best peak. Cricket is weird. Cricket is pretty weird. Bullshit! Okay, Emilio, the approach is a slow car. Let's go, Spotty! Spotty just resubscribed for 12 months. Holy cow, one year total. Abracadabra, and the car is gone. This is such a great combo, man. <laughs> I love these races. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. There's always something going on. Is the LMP3 really that hard? Thank you, John and Matt. Uh, the gap to Shintani. Ahead is now 2.8. It's hard on entries. Slower class car ahead. Uh, fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. So uh, it's a little bit hard to handle on entries, like you can lose it on entry, under brakes. Um, otherwise it's pretty good, it's pretty easy. Generally, I would say. In my opinion. Careful on downshifts, yeah. P2 is still easier. Yeah, P2 is easier. I mean, I think in terms of realism, this car is probably a bit better. But I'm not really sure. It's hard to say. But the LMP2 is really good as well for realism. Fe realistic feeling, anyway. But from what I've heard, the people that drive the LMP3 in real life, it is a bit of a piece of shit. <laughs> or it's hard to it's hard to set up well. Let's just put it like that. You're approaching a group of slower cars. A shit race. It's a shit street. Alongside right, clear right. It's a Bundy. Alongside left, Expelliarmus cargo.
No, I've never driven any prototypes in real life. So Papa's bless. Good idea, man. We're going on. Rat teaming. It's gaining on you. The gap is now 1.8. Oh, Daddy, it is gaining on me. It's going for slower cars ahead. These guys are busy fighting each other. Yeah, we should get most of these guys on the straight, or at least these two. Watch out, the mill is coming! moron! Idiot left, bang, and the car is gone. Moron left, not still. The Lambo GT3 is quite okay in terms of realism. Is it? I always thought it felt weird, man. I feel like all the GT3s feel a bit odd. This guy doesn't have a rear bumper. What should we do? Uh, okay. Let's see. GT4 better than GT3. Like the... The GT4... Um, the GT4 Mercedes feels quite good to me as someone who's never driven a GT4. I would report him for that. Report! I saw it happening. Slower class car ahead. Nice move, He's Bruno. <laughs> Bruno just killed someone. <laughs> okay, Emilio, you've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. There's this bandit behind, I don't know, some sort of colourful dunker colourful dinosaur. Themed uh, bandit. Turn up channel point TTS. Uh, I can't. Well, I well, thanks for the free, baby. You know. When I looked at it, I looked. I looked at it a while ago. Maybe. Maybe it's changed now, but I couldn't. When I did it. Behind is now 1.6 seconds. So yeah, it's not a ploy to. Uh, it's not a ploy to get you guys to pay for bits, but. Uh, That's five minutes to go. Come on, keep it together. We'll be on the podium here. Oh God, he's uh, he's gone off. Turn everything else down. Yeah. I don't, know. I don't want to turn everything else down though. Oh, Shoma. Shoma with a big slowdown. Coming up on a slower class car. Oh. Race is definitely coming to to us here. P two. Imagine that Adam has a problem. <laughs> Thanks, Max. And I end up winning this. Do you think race was over now? Because he he slowed down before the line. This is a lovely combo, man. It's a pleasure to drive this car around this track. Such, so many good combos week one, man. I'm not sure everyone agrees with me that this is a good combo because there's a lot of carnage, but I like it.
But yeah, Shoma, he did a he, he shortcutted the uh, the chicane. So I think he just had a really big slowdown. He didn't quite serve quickly enough. Carnage is good, right? Yeah, exactly. Stay out of the shit, easy IR gain. Yeah. Confirm. How many laps we got left? Surely white flag next lap, right? Lower class car ahead. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Car is lower left Clear of the moron. Alton's great on most things, yeah. Alton is a good track, man. Rowden has just been disqualified. Oh shit, we got a DQ. <laughs> DQ in the house. What? Rip. Your lap times are improving. Uh, no, no, no. Oof. Any tricks for LMP2 for Pauly? Uh, not that right, I know of. Emilio. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. La la left. Clear. Always drive GT. Yeah. I mean, uh, there probably are a few. I don't. I don't do any of them though. There's a lot of tricks. Yeah, in GT3, there's so many. You can do a little bit brake bias backwards. I'm sure there's a few things you can do, but it's not as extensive. I wish they just did open quali, man, so that you could see what everyone was doing. Because this closed off quali means you can have all these like secret warm up techniques that no one knows Slower about. Slower cars ahead. These guys will be fighting for position. They might not see you. Man in a formula car. Or at least be able to watch right. each other's replays. One more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. That last lap was a one twenty. More on left clear of the band. That a good idea. Not really. That wasn't really a good idea, was it? Well, I did it anyway. Swerving warm tyres. I mean, if you go too slowly, you can't. I mean, I think it's going to be wet, isn't it? Mainly, probably. Coming up on a slower class car. I don't know why those cars are shit Abracadabra, and the car is gone. Probably a whole load of exploits to be found in that. <laughs> Incoming soon. GG. GGG. Ah. Oh. Incident in Old Hall. We think it might be. It's over. It's over. Yellow flag. Keep your wits about you, mate. Well done. We've got a second drive. somehow. <laughs> All right. Let's just farm a bit more SR uh, while we can. I need as much as I can get. At this point, it's the lowest I've been pretty much ever, I think, since I got my A license. I mean, Dario is 1.2, so could be worse, <laughs> but still. Do a Ringmeister? Where's Ringmeister? Or what car? Oh, it's like Cadillac. No, fuck that. I hate that. I don't like that car at all. 
It's weird as hell. Yeah, no, no, no. We're not doing that. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, we won't interfere with the GT4s, yeah. Get all the corners in. And straight back in the pit lane like a real race. Wow, look at that. Dude, the immersion is unreal. Next level immersion Watch here. Your speed. Look Mid at that. Speed limit is 50 kilometers per hour. Three. Where's Park Fermé, Two. dude? I thought this was One. a simulator. Box now. Good race, Cesar. Everyone losing SR like crazy, yeah, man. The rain is, is something else, man. The rain is tough. I feel like they should reduce the SR penalties in the rain a little bit. I mean... It is difficult. Alright, guys. So we finished second somehow after all that. So Wait, I want to see the start. How the hell did Shoma get past me? All of a sudden, we were like three wide into T1. Which I don't understand at all. Oh, he just went early. Oh, he did the run-up thing. Oh, I see. Boo! Jumpstart, boo! Uh, Sony's have car contact, 1X is separated. Yeah, the 1X should be separated. Yeah, exactly, next. That'd be better, wouldn't it? Telemetry lines overlay on. Yeah, maybe I'll fiddle around with it before the next race. We had a little go at trying to get Shoma. Yeah, but he defended. It's quite hard to pass if someone's being defensive. Around here. Capside updated. Oh, yeah? That would be fucking awesome. Oh, we'll put it on for next race. Next race. Um, and then I had a moment in the chicane. Was it? It was here. Yeah, look at this. So a little bit of oversteer. Like I've been turning and braking too much. Too much rear brake. Fine, you know. Whatever. That's my mistake. And then I go turn into this one. This is like, oh no, you don't have any rear grip, mate. <laughs> Remember you did the slide. And then two people fucking passed me. It was so annoying. Ooh. Nice one for 20. We're insane. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough track for multi-class, man. But it, it kind of makes it fun. But some people are a bit mental. But like, look at this, the fucking, I, uh, like, this is the, something that the Indy car doesn't have on iRacing, right? You get this oversteer here, and like, suddenly my left rear has no grip. So I go into the, this one, zero grip. Like, I wasn't anywhere near getting that oversteer any other time. Emil's like, got full on brain damage. Watch the replay of the GT4 start. Okay, I'm, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Wait, everyone's trying to get these run-ups, man. This is... No, it was okay, it was okay. What happened, GT4 start? Let's see. Oh, leader spun. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> leader spun? What the fuck? Oh, my God, man. <laughs> uh, what even happened? Leader just spun. Got oversteer it. 
on entry. And there's no the, we reached the point of no return. And there's just fucking disaster behind. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, poor GT4 field. What happened to the 1.9k? We'll check it, we'll check, we'll check. We're checking, we're checking. <laughs> the safety cars involved and everything. Oh my god, man. What a mess. People get people lunging for the, for the leader as if... Look, look everyone's just lunging for him. <laughs> it looks like it looks like an AI where people are just trying to <laughs> where the AI is trying to kill the <laughs> yellow and red car. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is this Porsche doing, man? <laughs> he hit the brake. Yeah, everyone's fucked. Uh, someone's off here. Oh, Aston Martin. I made it though. Anyway, let's see what happened in our race beyond the next couple laps. So then I was following Dario for a bit. And then... So... Oops. So Bruno had a mistake up here, I think. Okay, it goes wide. Oh, he just missed the corner. Darius sneaks inside. Bonks him just a little bit. Let him know he's there. And then I get a run. Go for the outside. I think maybe he wanted to give me the inside. I'm not sure. But then he just backs out. So then we're behind Dario. And then Dario does something. Oh, Dario got a slowdown in T1. Yeah, okay. Or oh, some somewhere. Ah, okay, yeah. That's how we got Dario. And then... Then I gained a place on... No, previous lap. Up here, there's a big mess. So this was uh, Graham, the 1.9k driver who's mad quick. The cricketer, probably. Okay. Well, that wasn't even his fault. I was fully expecting him to do something stupid. But like, you know, he's staying out of the way. The McLe the Why is this guy just driving to him? I mean, he goes on the grass, but it's not like uncontrolled. Like he just kind of, you know, this Mercedes swipes at him. He goes to avoid him then he stays out there and then the McLaren just hits him. All right. Well, that was McLaren's fault. I don't know. <laughs> the GT4s were a bit all over the place here. Oh, well, that's unlucky, man. I would have done the same thing if I was him, I think. I mean, he, he can be tiny bit more to the right, but the GT4 is completely going over to the right there. Uh, I guess the GT4 didn't see where he was or something. I don't know, man. Anyway. Yeah, so that's where the... Uh, that's where... Uh, and then there was... What are they doing down here? Then he goes straight off. But like, okay, it's a bit of a lunge. But like... He is there. Okay, I don't know, man. This this GT4 seems like he needs to use his mirrors a bit more. Yeah, I mean, he's defending a little bit from the Mercedes. I think he's just looking out for the Mercedes and then just... I don't know. I mean, it's a bit of a lunge from Shoma, but it's not like it's not too bad. Like he's fully there by the time, you know. That's totally legit. 
Anyway. And then Shoma gets a slowdown, then I end up to second. There he is. Where does he get a slowdown? So he just goes straight, I think, on the chicane. No situational awareness. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so he just goes in a bit too hard. And then gets a mega slowdown. And it just takes too long to serve it, I think. Warm on his tires. And yeah, he just took too long to serve it, basically. And I think it just kept building up. And then he just has to stop here, basically. Yeah, man, that, that got a second in the end. So I'm, I'm pretty happy, honestly, with that. <laughs> uh, should we have a quick look at the first few incidents, see if there's anything mental going on apart from the start? But we saw this, McLaren spins. Takes out half the field. Well, everyone just keeps piling in. <laughs> what a mess. And they crash down here. They got through the... Oh. Okay, that's fine. Um, puts him back going the right way. That's a nice guy. Then we got the former leader. Still hasn't... <laughs> Still not in control of the rear end of that McLaren. And bonk. We've got a sketchy looking LMP3 down the inside. Not really a place to make a move. Oh. Little mistake there from Robin. That looked fine. Just a bit of internet. This guy going into the pits. Is he going to crash on the way into the pits? Yes, a little bit. Sort of, nearly. Red Bull M LMP3. With a clean kill. Clean kill on the uh, Mercedes. Just minding his business. Well, he's not really minding his business. He's going all over the place. This guy, this was the, yeah, this guy was going so slowly. I don't understand what this guy was doing. I get, oh, he just had shitloads of damage. He was just like crawling around. Okay, so it's not really what you should be doing. He's a bit all over the place. Okay. Kind of just should park it really at that point. If you're going that, can, can't go quicker than that. Uh, a little bit of a bonk. On uh, Etten Senna there. Down the inside. Come on, send it. Send no. Just a bonk. <laughs> man, this guy's like he's just causing so many issues. He's going. He's like a third class out there, man. Oh, but he just came out of the pit, so he wouldn't have known how bad the damage was, I guess. He's all over the place. He just gets fucked. A little spin over the hill. Ooh. Fuck, man. There's so much carnage in this one. Well, lap. Okay, we're already in lap 13. It's fine. It's been for Red Bull. Then we had this moment for uh, Graham. It's been. Which was actually quite unlucky. And then. You're going to rejoin nicely. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't ended well, particularly for, for Graham. It's a little bit... A little bit confusing there from Artem. And Graham again. Oh, no! No! Did you get DQ'd for that? Is that post-race? He just disappeared. Oh, he hit him then all I forward or what? Well, that's unnecessary. Boo, Graham, boo. Boo. 
Don't do that. Anyway, let's go. Uh, let's go do some uh, Imsa. Car Picassos, creating car Picassos. <laughs> you mean ruining cars, breaking them? I like that. Car Picasso. I like it, Picasso. Um, alright, well, let's get some, uh, let's get some, um, some proper music on. Or is it? Oh, let's, have you ever heard the, the story of Darth Banditius, chat? Have you ever heard it? Yo, it's your boy, Immels, it's your sh Hang on, it's not that one. Oh, this one. Let's go! Trinity just Trinity. resubscribed for nine months. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. We're all counting on you. <laughs> Cheers, man. You ever hear the tragedy of Darth Banditius the Wise? I thought not. It's not a story the I racing staff would tell you. It's a bandit, bandit legend. legend. Darth Banditius. Was a dark lord of the bandits So powerful and so wise He could use his lag switch to influence the eye Racing that code To kill eye racers without even getting a forex He had such a knowledge of the sporting code That he could even keep the ones he cared about From being banned this in that code of eye Racing is a pathway Race. to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. He became so powerful, the only thing he was afraid to force losing his main eye. Racing a cunt, which eventually, of course, he did. Unfortunately, AI. he taught his apprentice his password, then his apprentice logged in Sansami for lobbies while he slept. Ironic. He could save others from being banned, but not himself. Ironic. Beautiful <laughs> That's great, man. Love it. Um, Darth Banditius. Okay, let's get this. Okay. Tear it up a little bit. It's dude. It's emotional, man. It's a, it's an emotional journey. Lane speed limit is god, it's 80. so bright. Oh my god, it's even brighter for you guys. Wait, let me see if I can adjust it a little bit. That is fucking wild. Why is it so bright? Band of Tears. Mill's not only a shit racer, he's a shit streamer. About that, that's pretty much what I see at the moment. Fucking bright as hell. Why is it so bright? <laughs> like, that's what the game looks like at the moment. That's not like... Yeah, I don't know why it's so bright. It takes it is clear. Don't cross the line. It's good for me. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh my god, it's wait. It's dry. What the fuck? Why is it dry? Is that allowed? Is it allowed to be dry? It better not be fucking dry for the race. I'll be annoyed. I want a wet race. Let's put a dry setup on. That's all, all the bollocks. Wait, do I even have a Suzuka dry setup? Oh no, I did somewhere. But it was like many, many moons ago. <laughs> there it is. Season 2, 2023. 
Well, I was hoping I'd get a bit of wet practice in, but I guess not. We'll get blinded by the, the dry surface here. 46% chance of rain. I hope it does rain, man. If it takes it, looks clear. I want a wet race. Uh, well, actually, maybe not. Maybe it's good to have some dry races. I mean, let's see. Completely forgot how to drive in the wet, in the dry, I mean, pretty much. I mean, we had one race in the dry last week in LMP2 Fixed. Nice product, man. So I saw an iRace in UI, yeah. Have they reduced it? It's second time to pass in post. I swear it was higher. I swear it was 66, wasn't it, before? Darth Banditius. Oh, Imola Fame says 80% chance of rain that week. Why is it so high? That's so high. What the fuck? Is that just just because or what's Sebring like next week? What's the percent chance there? Oh, this car is so nice in the dry as well. Almost forgot. On the schedule PDF? Oh, really? Okay. Sector 1 is 0.5 off the pace. Oh wait, I was going to put caps back on, wasn't I? Right, we'll do it in a sec. What the fuck's going on with that car? You're a tenth off the pace in sector two. Left, clear left. All right. Anyway, I I hope it's going to be wet, man. I really want I really want to finish a wet race again. I mean, I have finished some earlier in the week, but I want to do it again. Sorry, man. So what's what what percent chance is it of rain next week at Sebring? Sebring says nothing about rain. We need rain. I mean when you click on the when you go on the schedule in the um why is this so bright? When you go on the schedule in the UI, okay, Emilio, you need to watch the track limits. Car on the left. Oh, he's Ninety-seven percent chance for Sebring twelve hour. I mean, I s if you, if you, yeah, so if you go on the schedule um, in the iRacing UI and you click on the week for Sebring, 
It was like 60% or something like that. My eyes have gone, yeah, same. I don't know why it's so bright, man. They will make sure it'll rain in the 12 hour, okay. They'll just have a point where it rains and then it'll dry out, probably. UI doesn't mean anything for weather. Okay. It's all bollocks then. Until that week is active. I mean, it won't say, but like, if you click on the schedule, navigate to the to the week in question, and then you pre press test drive, it'll set up a session based off the conditions it's likely to be that week normally. I don't know if it's it's like that in the new version, but when you do that, it says. Um, I can't remember what it said, but it said there was going to be some rain anyway. Sector 1 is 0 0.5 off the pace. Yeah, 66, yeah, okay. Where rain? I don't know, man. I thought there'd be rain, but I mean, this is the. Um, this lap, you've cut the track. This is the practice session. We'll see what the actual race session looks like. P3. Wait, people going three seconds faster than me? No. No, no, they're not. It's fine. It's fine. Willy Baba, thank you for the follow. A filter in the game, no, it literally looks really fucking bright and weird at the moment. It just that's just how it looks. It's not the uh, it's not anything I'm doing to it. You're right, moron. Idiot player. I mean, that wall there on the left is just fucking pure white. With some dirt on it. Idiot right. Expelliarmus hardball. Flashbang wall, yeah. Sector 1 is 1.2 seconds off the pace. I mean, iRacing does this every now and again. They just have, like... It's really overexposed. I mean, that <laughs> white everywhere, all the white barriers around it just look like pure white. Human right. Long Beach rain be chaos, yeah, man. 66 might be a default thing, yeah, maybe. Alright, let's join the race! Uh, back home. No, not allowed. Sebring does not. Oh, really? Boo. Um, that would suck if there's no rain next week, man. Um, alright, I'm gonna just run an ad. I'll leave you with an absolute banger. Where is it? I love me good race. Battle side by side. No seat belts to help brace. Face to face with the devil as they fail to catch the slide. That's fucking racing right there. Done that pansy ass Big tug and smile for the camera bullshit Man pew Man pew On the track And deliver that newborn baby in the pit lane That's that fucking Chuck 
and race tabs. Fucking race time shit. I'll have made the race battle side by side. No seat belts to their brace. Face to face with the devil as they fail to catch the slide. That's for man poo. And the Fuck it, chuck it, race time shit, let's go. Okay, so... Okay, take six clear, push. It is raining. That's good. Interesting. That'll be fun. Floss had just resubscribed for 15 months. Floss, thank you for the... 15 months in a row, man. It's crazy. Thank you, dude. Oh, shit. Okay. I love me a good race. Battle side by side. Good feel, yeah. <laughs> ah, shit. I don't even know which setup to go for now. Um, I'll chuck this one on for now. It felt very oversteer. It's not going to rain more this session, I don't think. Just going to take fuel out of this race set. See how it goes. Wait, we need like 11 something. Your exit's clear. Don't cross the white line. Okay, Emilio, we've got two laps. Let's get this done. Okay, this feels more, much more stable. Yeah, this is better. This is a better setup these conditions anyway yeah okay we're running this god I've already forgotten how to do this already it's only been like a few days It's not that wet. Yeah, this will be fine. This is a good setup for this. Oh, you can almost take dry lines already. It's definitely going to dry up, I think. Good, good, good. This is the right setup. So we've got Isaac in here. We've got Dario. We've got Samsoy. So how flat out is this? This will be flat out. Yep. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. No sweat. Never in doubt. Never in doubt.
Ah, uh, I was about under the limit there. How likely sergeant keep a seat? Uh, depends on how he, if he improves or not. On current form, basically zero. Carter more likely to lose a seat. I mean, it depends on if, like, it's only race, race number two, right? So, it's a bit too early to be drawing any conclusions on how they're gonna, if they're gonna improve from where they are. But if they keep driving like they are now, then yeah, they'll both be out. Come on, keep this pace up. That's the new fastest lap for Simpson, 154.01. Terrible chicane, man. Fuck. Is it just better to take the racing line? Okay, <laughs> well, you just gotta take the dry line shit. There you go. Alright, that's why I was losing my time. There's only eight LMP2s? Fuck. What? Bad luck, Emilio. Don't rush. Get it running. Get it back in the race. Why is there only eight LMP2s? Why am I fucking fifth out of them? <laughs> Alright, well, anyway. Uh, washed. Yeah, you can just use the racing line, man. Who'd have thought? Weird. Wet or dry? Definitely wet. I mean, you have to do a pit stop anyway, so. Or actually, now that you say that, I don't know. Everyone else is on wet. I mean, you can always do an early pit stop. That's the end of the session. P5. All right, let's uh, let's get eye overlay off and get paps on. 
Back map. Input graph, pedals, MGU. Build calc, relative, and standing. I mean, if I'd have used the racing line, I, I could have got pole, but I just didn't realize that that was possible. It felt like it, it just didn't feel like the racing line was going to be possible. But anyway, so we'll start on wets and um, we'll put dries on pretty quickly, I think. What, <laughs> what is going on with this? <laughs> Look at, oh no, the GTPs are starting ahead of us. Oh, Like, so which one's the top class, guys? Can you guys tell? Nope, it's not. It's the opposite. It's not the blue class, it's the yellow class. <laughs> They're all going to be starting ahead of us. Fuck. We're going to have eight GT... Well, we're going to... Oh, God. This is going to be such a shit show, mate. Oh, okay. All right, P this is basically high-speed PCC at this point, really. What tires everyone on? Can you see? It's right around the cutoff period, but you're going to have to do a pit stop anyway, so I'll go for wets. Um, it'll be easier at the start. Anyway. Oh, no. Then maybe we can do it. We'll do an early pit stop. I'm not quite sure when is a good time to stop, but we'll do an early pit stop. Get the uh, get the um, get the dries on at some point. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, P5, 45 minutes. I think that's the way to do it. Yeah. Follow car but there won't be any zero, rain coming, four. I think. In the left column. Darion dries. Oh, he is, isn't he? Fuck. Make it interesting. He's making it interesting. Well, we need to pass him pretty quickly. Um, it might be the good thing. It might be the right thing to do, to be honest. Alright, this should be interesting. We're starting really close to GTPs. The start's gonna be an absolute fucking shit show. Okay, Emilio, are you ready? Watch oh for the God. lights. Let's see, let's see what happens. Go! Fucking what a start. Good start. Idiot left. Idiot has gone probably crash. The car is gone. All clear left. Still there. Idiot still. All right, with P1. More still there. All clear. Cuban left. Still there. Oi. Ha ha ha. Not still. Left side, clear. 
It's meant to how much more grip we have, man. Well done, Emilio. This is great. Come on. Dude, Anti went up <laughs> as well, like, four places on lap one. Yeah, apparently caps got fixed. Seems to be working fine. Okay, D Dario's last. Oh, he's had. He's had the toe. Get some Epson chat for Dario. Oh, anti-crash as well. Oh no, he just lost some places. Car rejoined and spun right in front of him. What, Dario? Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's towing. Looks like this guy's fucking car is smoking. It doesn't look like spray. Engine failure and coming for the V8. Nice guy, nice guy. Thank you, man. Okay, Emilio, we think our refueling window will open after 10 minutes. It closes after 39 minutes. Thank you, thank you, man. The gap to Simpson behind is increasing. It's now 4.7 seconds. Simpson! To know how to judge the crossover, yeah, I, don't, I think the crossover is pretty toasted, to be honest. I've driven a lot in drying conditions, I Oh, rip. Idiot right. Saved it. And, um... Like, I don't know, at least in LMP2, it's, it's, it's way off. But, like, the... The appearance of the track... Like the track gets dry a lot, a long time before it looks dry. That was terrible. I'm talking about dry, wet, enjoying my fucking dry lines. Yes, hollow. Ho uh, GDPs are very slow in wet conditions. Wow, not even. That's the fastest lap. You've just done a 155.09. Fastest lap for. True 155.00. So like normally in real life you need a dry line to form and be visible before you um, around nearly all of the track before you put uh, dry tires on whereas on iRacing you don't need that which I'm sure they'll improve it and stuff. It's just at the moment it's it's not very accurate. So I mean, at the at the moment you just have to kind of like know what the uh, crossover time is and then just pit when. You're that catching the slower class cars. When that happens, pit when the crossover um, 
Yeah, when you reach the crossover. And then I race in the whetstone over here. Yeah, exactly. You can't cool down the wets on the wet patches. You're leading. So like that, that side of the model needs some work, but uh, like driving in the wet when it's just like normally wet, going over puddles, uh, like getting aqua painting over standing water and stuff, it's really fucking good. Although they need like, uh, if you go through a puddle, the gap to Simpson in real life, you'd pull your car a little bit to the side at slow if you drove through a puddle at slower speeds. That's like a small thing. Otherwise, like the the actual wet conditions are fucking amazing. Like the amount you have to like search for the grip and it's so cool. Grass dipping PTSD, yeah. For sure. Yeah, you can basically you could put wets on on a dry track and not even go that slow and just run them for a long time. This is for the overall lead here. <laughs> I don't think we have a chance because the, the track will just dry up at the end. It'll go way quicker, but... The groove tires do a bit better with mixed conditions. Yeah, than slicks. Like when it's, when it's like, when there's dry and wet patches... If there's a dry line, like the only time you can ever, you can only use slicks if there's a dry line with maybe a few corners that are fully wet. Otherwise, the slicks will lose temperature and they'll just be turned to plastic, and they don't clear any water. So then you're just fully fucked. You need to pit again for wets. If you can't get them off the temperature, you have to drive really aggressively on a on a drying track to get heat in the in the slicks. Got three different classes here. There's no dry line. Yeah, well, it's weird because sometimes there just is one, but you can't see it because the the visuals don't line up with how dry it is. I don't know, man. There's a lot of things they can improve on the on the drying side of of this. A lot of things, but model's still like super impressive. Like I just want to give the feedback for it because <laughs> I know what I'm talking about seconds. in this situation. The meals I got full on brain damage. But it's, like it's really fun to do a drying race as well. That guy, I think, I follow that guy. Oh, 
moron right, Expelliarmus Cargor. Uh, stop using the white lines there. Okay, Emilio, pit window is open. There's a group of slower cars ahead. It's such an awkward situation. Left side, clear of the bandit. I'm quicker in the corners, he's faster on the straights. Ultimately, I am a bit quicker, but it's not by like a lot, but he is holding me up quite a lot. Right side, clear. Me, 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 what a beautiful man in the formula And the car is gone. And then just... <laughs> From this side of the track. This guy won't see the blue flag. He's racing us. Yeah, I could pit, but He's I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to switch onto dries yet. I th I'm pretty sure we will need to switch onto dries, so we can't pit and not switch onto dries. Otherwise, we're gonna be fucked later. It's which spot exclamation mark which if you want it. You're approaching some slower cars. These guys are fighting for position. Human left, clear of the moron, idiot left. Moron still left. Clear left, car right, all clear. Losing so much time, man. Perfect. More on left at your car. You coming up on a slower car? So awkward here Simpson. as well. She's gonna catch me on the straights. Alongside left, clear of the moron. Oh, the right, fucking clear now. We just need to gap him. Yeah, we're fine now. So awkward, man. Like he's, we're getting close to the point where they start going quicker, but we're still a little bit off it. Slower cars ahead. These guys are fighting for position. The group includes their class leader. Oh, clear left, clear left. Your left, moron. Car right. Focus, focus. Car is smoke us. Right side, a body cadaver. All right, we got gap. Let's go. We've got some space. Okay, so it's looking a bit dry now. Looking like there's starting to be a dry line. But this corner is still pretty wet. Degna 2 is still pretty wet, and T1 and 2 is still a bit wet. Everything else seems pretty dry, apart from Spoon. A lot of water, yeah, but it's hard to tell because, like, 
it doesn't communicate how much water there is because like you look at the spray and you're like oh fuck clearly wets but it's not telling you how much water's on the track turn that off Sprays a bit off, yeah, exactly. Like it's a complex system; it's hard to get everything right. Obviously, sector one is, it is a bit off. Five seconds off the pace. Like this corner, I'd expect there to actually be some spray because it is pretty wet. Around here, basically nothing. Pretty much just feels dry. This corner's wet. Yeah, now now Sam's always stuck behind the LM the LMDH. It's just so, it's so like awkward man, like what do you do? Like you have to pass him on the way into um, like around T1 or something, otherwise you just end up with that awkward like straight line problem. Not a lot of sunlight. Simpson behind is now 3.5 seconds. Oh my god, that's way too early. When it's time for dry, you can tell by the GTP lap time improvement. Yeah, probably. I don't have to be the first person to do it either. Have a bit of a gap. Well, that's not a big gap, is it? What is a fast dry lap around here? First pitting for dries, but the difference between dry and wets isn't that big. 47, 48. Yeah, that sounds about right. Quality fuel level, yeah. Why Darren on P1? He started on slicks, it didn't work out. I mean, if we're going 55, right? And the track's still a bit wet. It's kind of mad. We're setting the pace. We need to find a tent in sector two. Simpson behind is pitting. Oh, here we go. Interesting. I wish I had like a sector thing on here.
So you can put dryers on, right? You must. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Like, we're not going any quicker. Halfway home, should be about 13 minutes of fuel remaining. Dry tyres on, yeah. How's he getting on? The gap behind is now 7.6 seconds. I still think it's a little bit early, but I don't know. So yeah, we'll stay out a little bit longer. Coming up on a slower class car. Slow on dryers, yeah. The thing about these wets, mate, they last forever, the man. They're way too 45, good on the LMP2 in drier conditions. Human right. Bang. And the car is gone. Car is really right half a mile. Alongside right, clear right. Yeah, it's like low percentage forecast for rain. I don't think it will rain. We're going pretty much same speed at the moment. Me and uh, Samsoid. Keeping an eye on the relative top left, like it's 49 seconds now. When he came out, it was like 48, I think. So it's it's close. Got that off again. What FOV is this? This is my FOV. I made it. Yeah, he's going slow. It's on 50 now. He messed up the chicane. Yeah, there's it's wet down at the chicane. Pretty much dry here. Ish. That's 20 minutes to go. There's 49 now. The gap to Perry behind is increasing. It's now 9.1. You know, so squeezing up onto the wetter line only makes the it worse for you. Probably crashed. I think we'll box next lap. Like I'm just watching Sam Soy's like relative to me on the standings. Got ten minutes. Definitely a wet setup. I mean, we can. Um, the, the wets could go to the end of the race. Like, they don't go off. You can, you can run them. I mean, it's a safe option. Putting dries on, like, the, the risk versus rewards is just not really worth it, generally. I think, like, even if you do, like, undercut someone, it's only by, like, a little bit, and then they can just go next lap anyway. Lower class car ahead. Yeah, this is 
suboptimal though. We're staying out another lap. At least. See, that's the first time we see some dry patches there. That was a 155.89. Sam Sawyer. We're running pretty much the same pace. But I mean, I just got held up a shitload there, I guess. Well, now we got a bit more grip. I think. Hey, that might be the. Look how much I'm gaining now. I think that might be the time for tries now. I think that's the dry track. Pace advantage now. Yeah, it feels dry. Not here, obviously. No, 130 hours dry. It's the hairpin and the Degna to the wet. And then a bit of spoon and a bit of T1. Samsung's not gaining on me yet, like... We're still pulling away from him. The cap to Perry behind is now 10.0. Yeah, okay, we box now. I think he's gaining. I think now is the time. Let's try it. Let's go for it. Yeah, I'm also up like a second through the S's as well. Let's see what happens. Hit lane speed limit is 80. Oh, per take hour. it easy, Bob. Bo 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 Box now. All right. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, I've put enough fuel in. <laughs> that would be a bit annoying. Alright, try let's go. Watch your mirrors, don't cross the white line. Okay, Emilio, double chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. 15 minutes remaining, 15 minutes to go. Really right. Fucking clear now. Fuck, it's fully dry here, yeah. Yep, fully dry. This is dry, this is wet. This is wet. Oh no, that's dry, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah man, the thing is you can't see it. Like you can feel the when it's dry, but you can't see it. Because the S's are dry, but they still give you spray. And here, this bit's dry as well, it still gives you spray. This bit's fully dry as well. That bit's a bit wet. It's not too bad. The leader, Perry, is pitting. The car ahead's been. Idiot right, idiot clear. Flat running. Not flat running. Almost flat around there, though. Bandit left. Bang. And the car is gone. You're in the lead. Yeah, this should be a bit wet down here. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is this bit's fully dry. The new fastest lap for Turho. 152.28. Yeah, I think we made the right call. In the right lap. Human right. All clear. <laughs> Next retire the car. Perfect time to change, yeah, it's pretty much the exact same conditions you get we got in the week of uh, before they made the weather unpredictable, I guess. As I pitted, when did I pit? Lap 15. Like on that like fixed weather race, the best lap to change was lap 14. Gap to Simpson behind is increasing, it's now 12 seconds. Okay, this corner's a bit moist. Not too bad. Okay, well, let's see if we can hold on to the. Uh oh, fuck. Perkele moment, roll it. Perkele saatane vittu. Still P1 overall, yeah. See if we can hold on to it. 14 seconds ahead of uh, Sam Sawyer. Oh, it's trying to be dry through here, but it's not quite dry. This is dry. Happening GTP, yeah. You're right, moron. Inferior class. Clear of the moron. Oh, that's nearly dry. Okay, Camilio, is a faster class car approaching? No, he's not. He's diminishing. Are there any LMP2? I haven't won. I, like I haven't seen an LMP2 win uh, win the overall yet in one of these races. I mean, this race is a bit easier than the ones I've seen all week, but don't have any esports GTPs here. But ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Well, at least I don't think so. Gap to GTP. Yeah, I think it's going to dry up. Like we're we're equal pace now, pretty much. Seen an LMP2 not win overall, really. <laughs> seconds. I want to win overall. Oh, Matthias catching, but that's the fast bit of the track. We'll pull out on this bit, I think. Oh, it's dry there. T1's dry now. Just T2. Holy shit, did you see that number 16? Yeah, I'm on dry. He's gonna catch me, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Particularly with that lap back marker there. Oh, that's dry now there as well. The really defined dry line is cool when you can see it. Yeah, it's very blocky though, it looks weird. But again, we're getting spray on it, which doesn't doesn't line up. 
with what the track looks like. Like, you have to guess it here. You can't just see it. Needs almost a second of lap, yeah. Well, what's normal for those cars on LMP2 in dry conditions? I mean, he is in a quicker class in the dry, at least. We'll push, we'll push, we're pushing. All right, Emilio, 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Oi. 44, 45, so there's only three seconds. Three, four seconds. Oh, that's dry as well. Ish. Oh man, look at this though, I get spray on, on this part of the track here, which is completely dry. Anyway, whatever. We all know it's a bit off. The answer, Simpson, behind is increasing. It's now 19 seconds. And that's nearly entirely dry now as well. Being caught by the faster class. No, Jim! Hold him back! Jaguar and Pitting. No! Best lap in new class. That was a 147.86. Oh, oh, that's Coming cool. Slower class car. So if you go off the dry line. You have no grip. It's not quite pronounced enough. But you can also not fucking see it, so... It's good that it's not too crazy... ...realistic there. Ah, uh, it's like the worst place to catch him, man. Just five minutes left. Hold your nerve. We can win this. Ah, uh, it's over, man. It's over. The dream is over gonna breeze past me. Nah, there's not gonna be any more rain. It's over. You're leading. An extended dream. Good save, Alfred. Oh, but bumper. There's a faster car approaching. This guy's no. a class leader, but he's racing us for position. No! No! That lap time no! Yes! Still, still there. Yes! Oh, no right. All clear right. <laughs> yes! Oh, interesting. Kind of a lifeline, sort of. Still gonna get me, but. Fully dry. For the honor of LMP2. Fuck. Idiot right. Okay, one more lap of glory. I need like two laps. There's like two laps left after this one. No fucking way. Thank <laughs> you. 
No! No! I punt him. That's five Their minutes of fuel left. <laughs> No! No! Yeah, two laps. That lap time was 148.00. How much quick we are through that bit then? Two minutes to go, two minutes. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Left Wait. side. Oh, 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 Clear shit. Left. Your left, moron. No. Pray <laughs> for heavy rain. I don't want heavy rain. Still want to win my class. Is that everyone's on slicks now, though? So yeah, maybe heavy rain. Heavy rain. We need heavy rain. Come back, you bastard! What's this hybrid bollocks cheating shit, man? Come on! Take out your batteries and fight like a real man, huh? Hybrid hacks. Interesting line. <laughs> Fuck it out. You're not getting my toe. Fuck Amelia, you. One more lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. Very little fuel left. He's right there, man. Fuck. Dryland looks jagged, yeah. That's a bit weird. I'm back here, you bastard. Full send into the final chicane. Wait, look, look, look. There's a gap. Look, there's a gap. There's a gap. Uh, too far back. Next lap, maybe. Oh, no, where's the last lap? No. Ah, oh, well, GG. Good win, GTP. Well, well, well raced. Nice one, Emilio. Great win. You deserved that today. Oh, yeah, I forgot I won. Yeah. You're a legend, Mario. <laughs> I won my class, though, not overall. Fuck! Sometimes lose and always win. Should we farm a bit more, more safety rating? I feel like I need to. Lose a stream. Fuck! Can't believe that bastard LMDH beat me, man. It was actually really well balanced. <laughs> like if we started on the same grid, it would have been close. Get what it, man. 
Oh, that guy's having issues. Oh, we'll leave him alone. Ah, well. It's only a win in class. Uh, I don't think starting on dry was the right call. No. What happened to Dario? Dario this feels like ages ago. Dario crashed or something. Dry is no good. The timer looks like uh, signs on the radio. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. It's tough being a GTP. Wait, did I gain 61 I ratings? About, That's fucking enormous. What the hell? Why did I gain so much? Oh, it was because a lot of people were 6k, five, high 5k. High 5k. Oh wait, no, because everyone in the... Why is... Why was it so high? That's the most I rating I've gained for a very long time. And it was not the hardest race. I mean, no disrespect, but I won by like half a minute, so... But it was really close with like Samsung for a while, yeah. Another 100 IR bonus for winning overall in LMP2, yeah, and then all the all the GTPs get negative. Anyway, bonk. Well, it was quite fun. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, should we do LMP2 fixed? Should we do LMP2 fixed. Let's do LMP2 fixed. And Bill's not only a shit racer, he's a, he's a shit, shit streamer. streamer. Thank you for the follow, Danko. What time is it? LMP2, where's LMP2? 16 signups? Yeah, whatever, let's do it. That's fun, yeah, man. I want to do this again, and then I want to do LMP2 fix, and then I want to do IMSA again. So let's just, uh, let's just do that. Collecting dubs, yeah. But this was weird, man, because the the. I mean, Isaac's usually really quick. But Isaac usually does GTP, just GGP. Oh, wait, Anti got DQ'd. Fucking hell! What was the last last straw for Anti? That was weird, man. Ridiculously high SOF in uh, in LMP2, five point seven. There was like, and there was eight cars. I don't understand the split here, man. If I had finished second, I'd have like lost probably. Oh, I don't even know. Uh, what about GT3? GT3. So LMDH was 2.9. And GT3 was 3.5. We had a 5.7 case off. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll absolutely take that. Um. But wait, why, how did I even get that big, that big of a gap to Samsung? Lap, lap one move wait, my first lap was insane. Look at this. This was epic. So I start fifth. Down the inside, bam. We drag race for a bit. Dario backs out because he's on dries. We cruise in here. That's P2. And then at the hairpin... Samsung gets held up on the inside and I just go swoop. Oh, he nearly hit me. <laughs> yeah, he pitted too early, yeah. But he wasn't losing that much time to me. It was like a it was like a few tenths a lap, like depending on what traffic we had. He really wasn't losing that much. But maybe maybe he was. Uh. That was a really fun race though. Danko, thank you for the follow. I already said that.
Yeah. So like, uh, I mean, it was a 5.5 case off. I went from bottom half to P1 in in, uh, in 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 less than half a lap. So pretty good. More fortunate chap. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It was weird. Anyway, um, yeah, I would have thought like, based off how close we were running, like before we pitted, Samsoid was like five seconds behind me. Like I got held up a lot by this GTP. It wasn't that one? It was. It was the one we ended up battling at the end. This guy, uh, Matthias. Because like, I don't want to pass him into the hairpin or something like that because he'll just go straight past me on the straight again. And also, I'm not close enough. Like, we're much quicker in the twisty bits. It's so hard to pass someone who's got higher top speed. But I wasn't like, I wasn't really trying because I was like, oh, how much time are we actually losing? And then Sam Sober was coming in like a freight train. I was like, shit. Ah! Started trying to make some moves and then he made a mistake, I think. Yeah, on this lap. Yeah, this, I think this did make the overall the difference for P1 because we're like three seconds a lap quicker at this point. But like we were going through traffic, so it's impossible to like, every lap we had some traffic. So it's like, you know, you can't pass, you know, I can go for this, right? But then just get immediately blocked. Um, but that put a bit of pressure on him, then he made a mistake. He went out there, we were fine. Go straight through. And then we had that sketchy moment like two wide in 130R here like flat out <laughs> that's mental how much more grip lmp2 has than gtp that's fucking ridiculous <laughs> Yo. i mean he's, he's taking it easy as well because he knows it's a tough corner for him but i was flying around the outside there Check who's early lap times on dryers. I missed that. Oh, wait, Samsoid, yeah. Is the grip difference realistic? I don't think it's... No, I think it's a bit too much. I mean, are the wet, wet tires in GTP, are they much different to the LMP2 wet tires in real life? Asking a question that probably no one knows the answer to. <laughs> Unless you're actually doing it for real. Um... Yeah, he pitted around, he pitted lap 12. He's going 54, 55. A bit all over the place, there's just traffic everywhere, isn't there? I think I was, I was just a lot quicker on at the end of the race, I think. Yeah, he was doing 49s. I was doing 47s. Yeah, so we gained a bit of time there as well. Anyway. Cool. Let's, I uh, don't oh know, uh, we'll wait for the session. Let's just see if there was any major incidents. And Emil's like got full on brain damage. Chicken. Thank you for the follow. Oh, no. Absolutely sent into the pit lane. That was Dario on his dries. Uh, oh shit, he spun immediately. Oh shit, yeah. Normal, uh, normal dries when it when it's wet kind of situation. Got to respect the uh, commitment though. The commitment to starting on dries. Take some balls, man. Oh fuck. Jesus Christ. Yo, what the fuck? Is he even trying to turn? Sort of. Oh, okay. No, oh, he is. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, <laughs> that really fucked Isaac. <laughs> Shit. Dun 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 dun. Oh, that's my Discord. Sorry. Oh, Sam, so I did a kill. That's why he was so far behind. He had to serve a 30-second penalty. 
for a pure murder. Doesn't need much balls to hit reset. <laughs> he should have stuck with it, man. Well, he was trying to, there you go. That's a T-bone, a GTP. Anyway, we'll do the uh, LMP2 race. I'll just run an ad now. Bonk. Oh, Isaac with the kill. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Wait, that was the guy... That was the guy that... That, that killed Dario. Fuck. He got murdered. Rejoined the track angrily. Probably about to press the uh, the voice chat button. Lose the control. Crashes right into Dario. Rip. Just park it, mate. Just park it. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Park it. Park it. Park it. No. No. See? That's what happens. I got Braden. Oh! Dude, the amount of GTP, the LMP2 on GTP murder in this race is insane. It's very high. Oh my god, another one. Jesus Christ, man. Anti got DQ'd in the end, though. The payback. <laughs> LMP2s don't, like, get taken out by GTPs that much. Oh my god, and he's absolutely stacked it. Slam. That was the end of Antonio, I presume. No, he continues. Takes more than that to take out Antonio. Just because it's just because he's only got three wheels doesn't mean it's race over for Antonio Nurchis. But now it does. Oh, A little touch is fine. Jonas is straight into the wall. We've got Greg in the Alonso Lambo. Thought he left enough room there. Pun just really wanted to hit him. Alright, anyway, let's go join the uh the LMP2 fixed race. Um what should we listen to? Let's listen to this song. Where are they coming from? Oh, it's called Suno, S U N O A I. You just put in like lyrics and then say what kind of song you want. Like that one was just Eurobeat, obviously. Just put Eurobeat. Or you can go um, UK Drill. Not that one. Yo, shout out to this band, it's Neko Dano, Cyber Cap, Mafia 44, Hollow AC, Crash of Vandy, Cap and XD, Shadow Crawford, thank you for the photo. Sazuka. Sazuka. Six Gun Smith, New Lambda, El Gato con la Pipa. My loading music now, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, the the black check mark. Let's play that one. Yo, it's your boy Immels. Fiscu checklist number 753. I'm still half asleep. Black check mark. mark. 
Black check mark. My yacht is out of petrol. Black check mark. I've not done F4 in the last two or three months. Human check mark. Oh, this is very wet. He was under 2K rating and I didn't know which way you go. Black check mark. It's an old setup. Black check mark. I forgot how to drive black <laughs> check mark GT freeze on using all the track black check mark I'm so on the hinge right now I'm a big tired black check mark <laughs> <laughs> The last one's fucking great Um Peter Flair that's been Alright oh, the diff in this car I forgot about that Yeah, we got we got all the. I think it's the. It's Freddy made it, so I can't, I'm not quite sure. But I think it's the longest. Uh, my longest subscribers list of longest subscribers. There you go. You made it on rank one. Bam. Thank you for your for your subscriptions, man. Appreciate it. Here's the longest list of longest subs. Okay, yeah, nice. Yeah, cheers, guys. Okay, how's your bow month? Ah. Oh. He just misses one month, dude. You're there. Your cancer's credit card. I did a heavy UK drill song about iRacing. It's interesting. Oh, God. I mean, you can post it. We, we have a, actually, I realized we have a music tab on um, on my Discord that no one ever uses. We can You can chuck them in there if you want. Feel free. I'll, I'll play it after this, maybe. For this Looks quality like session. clear on the pit exit. We've got two laps to get the job done, mate. Black chip mark. Okay, it's definitely full wet lines here. Track is quite wet. It's not like fully wet, but it is quite, quite wet. Those bits add up, do they? Oh yeah, for you, obviously, mate. You're fucking. <laughs> You're keeping the lights on in my house, mate. Two of them bought it for the year, it's so good man, it's so good. I think I'm gonna get it as well. Cause like the ones the ones that you guys hear are hearing at the moment are just ones Freddie made. Why uh, with me when we were like we had a Discord chat and it was fucking like, I haven't laughed that hard for a long time. It's fucking amazing. Alright, can we go quick? Yeah. Oh, that's my Discord, sorry. I haven't figured out how to turn it off. Like silence it. But one way is just to turn it off completely, so there we go. The meals like got full on brain damage. Ever raid? El Ray. Oh, thank you for the raid. Uh, what's up? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to my stream. We're just doing qualifying in uh, LMP2 fixed training. How was your How was your stream? Hope you had a good one. What are you guys up to? Ringo Argento, thank you for the follow. 
Yeah, what's up, guys? Welcome in, everyone. If you don't know me, I used to do a bit of uh, real life racing. Of F2, F3, F4. Beat Ock on this one time. It's fucking great. And a few other times. If it was one of those guys, it's a shit streamer. Uh, Manuel Borrero, thank you for the follow. Areas. Emil's like got full on brain damage. Sebas, thank you, thank you. Requires a sooner AI song about being rated. Yeah, could be. <laughs> yeah, welcome everyone, guys. Thank you so much for the follows. Flat run it. Nope, not quite. Emil's Oy. like got full on brain damage. Sound is dead. Oh, damn it. One sec, one sec. Okay, should be better. Yeah, what's up? How was the how was the stream over there? Hang on, <laughs> it's really hard to do it in the middle of the poorly run in the rain. Either stream or or drive at this point, really. Brum brum. And it feels like got full on brain damage. Oh, that was a bit aggressive. I shit, lost all my. Uh, I was on such a good lap. Last three tenths there. Let's see if we can find it. Anything here? Borador, thank you for the follow. Cheers for all follows, guys. <laughs> okay, full send in the chicane. Oh, that was even too early. Alright, an extra 10. I have not raced GTP, no man. I don't like the wet tires at all on the GTP. They've, they're just, they have too much front grip for me. I was going to, but I have not. Yeah, what's up, everyone? I may have may not just watch this. Soon. I should get a commission at this point, shouldn't I? El Rey, Yuri, F1. Thank you for the raid. Yeah, thank you guys. Welcome everyone. Um, we're about to do LMP2 fix race. Thank you for the follow so far, guys. Go give a follow to El Rey Yuri. I've never heard of El Rey Yuri. Why have I not heard? find out. So let's do a quick Twitch search. There it is. Hmm. Ah, oh, F1 stuff. Nice, 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 nice. What brings you over here? Brings you over here to the realm of iRacing. Doing some iRacing today. Spanish streamer F1 iRacing sometimes. Okay. Sweet. Well, welcome everyone. I don't speak any Spanish. Sorry. No hablo español. Um, but uh, this was the perfect race to know Pragi Sen. Hola. Hola a todos. 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 I don't know. I speak a little bit Portuguese, but not That's a lot. That's the end of the session. Pole position. Well done, mate. What's up, Yuki? Next week, Combo SFL, Hockenheim, chance of range 65%. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll give that a go, man. I want to try SFL in the rain. It looks fun. Don't worry, we don't speak English and we're <laughs> Hi, guys. I mean, hopefully the content will speak for itself. Super Formula Alliance. All right, so we got pole position. Primero posición. There you go. I speak. I, I speak. I basically speak Spanish. So there you go. Um, even if that, I don't know if that actually is Spanish. Anyway, um, <laughs> Spanish curse words. <gasps> don't offend anyone. Let's compete together. Yeah, it sounds interesting, Yuki. Man, I, I, I want to try some. It'll be fun. GTP participation terrible at IMSA nowadays. Uh, a little bit. It's not too bad. Uh, I use caps for overlays. Pole position is a universal language. Pole position. Good race, please. What do you write back to that good race? Good luck. Should I, I was I was really close to writing good luck, please. Fine, we'll, we'll be fine. I'm gonna do a Sebring 12 hour, yes. I will do it, I will do it. So we're gonna try some, uh, we'll see if Sebring is wet next week. Because I will have to end up, I will end up having to practice some wet GTP. But for today, staying LMP2, please be careful in wet. You too, mate. <laughs> yes. Good, we're, we're all clear on communication. The track temp is 18. The air temp is no, you 19 <laughs> Celsius. Pole position. Why does he want me to be careful? He should want me to fucking crash and die. Stay behind P1. the safety car in the left column. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers, cheers. All right, here we go. It's true, Leon. It's tough. It's the tough life. The tough life. Reverse psychology. Exactly. Wait, caps isn't working. Fuck, hang on. Oh, damn it. My relative is gone. I have it on my black box anyway, so... Go. Off we go. Green, green, green. Twenty minutes remaining. You've got twenty minutes left. It will not only a shit race, it's a shit street. So we only had pole by two hundredths of a second over Leon, so it should be a pretty close race. Let's see what we can do. Feels like it's getting more, it's more rain. Well done, Emilio. Good start. Ooh, it's not quite flat. Oh, it's getting a bit tough around there. Oh, it's definitely raining more. Subscribe for six months. Hey, you're Leo. Cheers to another six months in Melbourne Jam. Do the dark fans get Excellent sub, man. Okay, yeah, it's definitely raining more. 100% pre precipitation, so it's going to get wetter and wetter. got past.
Alongside right. Clear of the bandit. Tidy, please have Emilio. <laughs> Stay safe. Send from nowhere. I mean, he made the move. I don't know why I apologized. More on left. And still. Still. GTPs. Sorry, Adam. You just hydroplane done randomly. And that's not my fault. Yeah, it's not your fault, it's my fault. I, I hydroplane. No, no worry, no worry. <laughs> Just happened. These conditions are terrible. The gap to Barber behind is increasing. It's now 1.8 seconds. Yeah, let's see if we can catch this guy. 15 minutes left. Take a title line there. Red flag, red Gap flag! In front is now 2.7 seconds. Why do I see spray in the rear view? Because there's, cause there's spray? What do you mean? Confused. Fastest lap for Virtual. 159.50. V2, that's the fastest lap. Your times are good in all three sectors. Yeah, we got some pace now. Don't reflect spray. I don't know what you're talking about. They clearly do. Well, we're, we're definitely catching uh, Leon pretty, pretty, uh, quite a lot here.
God, that's... Yeah, it's from my car, it's just really far away. Yeah, that's probably it, I okay. think. Track at the moment. The answer, Bridgewood. Ahead is now 0.7. Yeah, I haven't turned it down. This is what it came out of the box for me. Like, I've never changed my mirror setting. Yeah, those two corners is quite good. Yo, man, come on. That's how you behave at 5.5k, bro. That's embarrassing. Bro. <laughs> See his lights ten just about. To go. That's ten minutes left. This is terrific. Exactly what we came here for. Halfway home. Fuel's good. Oh, mistake for him. Nearly. Side left, clear, car left, clear, the moron. Stick to the plan, don't be intimidated here. I'm so sorry, mate. My car just aqua planning and go twice. I can't do nothing, sorry, man.
again. I'm so sorry mate, but also fuck you P1 is mine now lol get wrecked loser get caught. The gap to Barber behind is increasing, it's now 3.9. Okay, I don't know, Emilio, man. you're reeling. Bergeron. It's <laughs> Have a safe race. Have a safe race if he's not fucking in it next time. Dude, there's so much grip on that Astro, what the fuck? You're a tenth off the pace in sector two. Yeah, we got two more laps, you can still go up, let's see. Tidy. Five minutes to go, you're looking good for a podium. I was 1.8 seconds quicker than last lap. We're gonna get one more lap or two. In. In. The gap is just one right. seconds. Oh, caps is back. I guess, man. Alle de Ulse fra virkeligheden også hjælper lidt. I'm sorry, man. That's all I mean. You can go ahead. Oh, no, Lincoln. Oh fuck yeah, two more laps, let's go, we just catch him. What did you do, Cyber? Well, oh, thanks for following, Luke. Holy fuck! We've gone out of track limits. Keep it between the lines. 
Okay, Emilio, you're reeling. We're trailing. In. The gap is now 0.9. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Last lap. Looking good for a podium. Ah, uh, no. Fuck. Track limits, watch those lines. Tad bit tapping, yeah, I didn't get close enough. Well done, Emilio, great drive, that's a podium. I don't know why he's still following me. Can lose I are no, we're not we're not Dorian Pin. Was it though? Was it a GG? Can you can you repeat please? No. Let's see the battle. That was really far, but we had giga pace, man. I mean, he just hooked me a little bit here. And then we went straight, and then obviously I've come fucking. I, mean, I don't know where he was expecting to go.
<laughs> anyway, what was the first one? I mean, the first move wasn't even that bad, but then he wrote fucking sorry after it. Oh, I wrote sorry. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. Like, it was a send, the one when he got past me, but it, he didn't hit me. Like, it was a fucking lunge. I was going way too slow. Like, here, right? Like, this is actually kind of fine in the end, because I'm just going way under the limit. He got it done, stayed on track, more or less. I didn't really have to avoid him. I was just taking my shit line. So it's like, you know, whatever. for the IR. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to talk to that guy anymore. He's annoying. Like, it's not even the fact... I don't know, like, you know, some people just drive super aggressively and then that's how they are. But then when they try to, like, say sorry and convince you that they're fucking... They're like, oh, no, sorry. It was so good. Oh, but, you know. It's just like, yeah, but... You have to. You have to drive like you're fucking. <laughs> I mean, it's just like before the race even starts, he's like, "Dude, be careful in the wet. Be careful in the wet." So yeah, okay, whatever. You be careful in the wet. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, if if someone's like directly behind you, right, on the grid, you say that. No, you. Anyway. I think he's just trying to annoy people and maybe, I don't know, I don't know, understand those kinds of people. But uh, anyway, it was, uh, I don't know, I, I don't really understand. Careful around him. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. No, I think they just do it to like, I don't know. I don't even know if it's mind games or if they like have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's put an ad on there. Banditos. Notice many corners. You took the normal line, for example, two lefters. How can you tell it's fast? I mean, I've been doing this all week quite a lot, to be fair. So I have a lot of experience in these conditions now. But generally, with the two left-handers, I mean, so you, uh, on shorter corners, like corners that are really long, you want to take the wide line. On corners that are short, like Degna One, for example, is probably the best example. You want to take a you want to take a normal racing line, nearly more or less, just because you don't spend much time. You know, if you wanted to go all the way around, like it's much much quicker just to cut through the middle, even if you don't have that much grip on that line. Never clue. I don't know. I think it's I don't know. one of those people you're like, either he's playing games or he just has no fucking idea. <laughs> either way, I don't really want to talk to him. Not really much, uh, much to do. Anyway, um, let's see. I want to try this other setup in the rain. Perry, 156.46. Whatever, man. He's just uh, You come across these people sometimes. I never really understand.
He thinks he just had the race of his life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a lot easier to win a race when you, uh, when you take out the guy you're fighting. But it just kind of like... It just means that when he says sorry, it doesn't mean it because he's just like... He's hitting the sorry button, gets on the rate voice chat like, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. And then like... I mean, like, I'd rather he just said, like, that was your fault, honestly. Then we can argue about that properly instead of being like, oh, sorry, that was my fault, that was my fault. And then he's just, like, super happy about winning anyway. <laughs> it's just confusing as hell, man. It's like, are you sorry or are you not? Like, if you really think it's your fault, you're not going to be that happy about winning because it's not a real win, is it? Anyway. There's people like this. It's fine. They exist. He's probably not that old. Focus, focus, car is smoke us. You get the IR? Yeah, why well, I don't fucking know. I mean... Dead of cash. Sorry, 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 sorry. There it is. Sorry. My bad. I just think that was chat's fault. They were distracting me with, the, with, with good... With interesting chats. Am I sorry? No, actually, I'm not sorry. Fuck you. <laughs> Your fault. Chat's fault. <laughs> Just because I'm in charge doesn't mean it's always my fault, you know. <laughs> Just because I'm the one who's making the mistake doesn't mean it's my fault. Just, I'm sorry, but it's not my fault. Chat was distracting me. Oh, green tick mark? What the fuck? Let me see you. <laughs> Shit's <done. laughs> Oh, hello. Production team's fault, yeah. Wait, do I have a production team? Anyway, man, whatever, whatever. This setup's really like quite on its nose. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel. I <laughs> see. I think this setup will be, will be good for like full wet conditions, but not for like intermediate. Like drying conditions, I think the other setup's better. It's a little bit less on the nose. Anyway, uh, yeah, boys. So we got the. Should we get a, another AI song up? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see if we can find one. Imagine a stream producer like Dr. Disrespect. Yeah, I should, right? Alex. <laughs> Good times. I can never hope to be even a fraction of what Dr. Disrespect is. Uh, which one should we listen to now? Let's go for this one. This one's pretty. Pedal, pedal to the metal. Listen to your hero center. See a gap, fucking send it. I'm not lifting until I see God on a check. If I know I'm not our dog. Um, if you plan to survive, then get out. Just getting some other set. Uh, I could send you after. Um, well, Back in the days when the engines roared on the tracks where legends soared. So few they pushed too hard without a care, but in the end they were going away. Take six clear, don't cross the white line. So I think for some reason an IMSA caps works. Wait, this is dry. Oh, it's gonna be a dry race, boo. Sorry, guys, Chat's fault. 
Wait, I need to put it back on. So I'm going to change the setup. Can you drift an F3 car on slicks? I can block, no. Has it? No, it hasn't. Has it? Oh shit, has it? Oh damn, okay, we're starting last though. But it's gonna be a dry race. Whatever, we'll do it, we'll do it. It'll be good. Uh, where's my Suzuka set? Oh, it's season two. It's a bit old, this Suzuka set. Oh, wait, maybe I'll try the, uh, the one you sent me, Ryan. Wait, where is it? We'll try that, whatever. And Mill's not only a shit racer, he's a shit streamer. Yeah, my, my, for some reason, my stream, uh, stream deck doesn't work with OBS today. Exit's clear. Push. All right, Emilio. It's gone now, it's gone now. Sorry. Sorry, my fault, my fault. Not sorry. No, I am sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Starlight's redeemed. Yes, I don't know why I. Um... Yes, sorry. I, I'm just going as an autopilot, man. I want to see what time I would get. Stay behind the line. We're starting last. 4.3k soft. It's going to be dry. It might rain, I guess. We'll need to come into the pits. <laughs> no, it says completely dry. 0% chance of precipitation. Thirty streak one GG. Fuck your start lines. No, we're doing you the start lines. Okay, I'm not so sure about this setup. Wait, is it on dry tires? Yeah, it's dry, it's okay. Uh, I think I'll put the other setup on the actual Suzuka set from two seasons ago. Uh, what's the weather look like? Yeah, no rain. All right. Boring race incoming. <laughs> Actually, it's still Suzuka, so there'll still be quite some interesting moments, I think. Don't accidentally set a time. Flag. We'll need to come into the pits to serve it. Okay, yeah, it's got a bit more rotation than the other one. You've got three laps to serve this penalty. I'm not serving it. Okay, we might do a an early stop just to get that out of the way and um, hopefully leapfrog a few people. Do a little bit of a mega undercut. I don't know why it's so bright, man. <laughs> Try to start last off off for twelve hours. Yeah, well. It won't be available for that. <laughs> it's not, I'm not bound by it, but it is, I, I will do it unless there's like special circumstances. Why am I breaking on the wet line? Fuck. What am I going to race tomorrow? I'll do some Sebring IMSA. Hopefully it'll be a bit of rain. It'll be more fun. My team for Sebring. Um, I think Ryan's on it, right? I think. I haven't actually checked. I'm still doing wet lines, man. Come on, what's wrong with me? Q time won't count with the black flag, no. 
feels horrendous. Oh, it's from back there. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Yeah, I haven't really like it's since it's like more than a week. Or it's, now it's not more than a week, but since we're not even in the week of like doing Sebring, I haven't even thought about it yet, really. But yeah, I will be doing Sebring 12 hour. I need to figure out how that's gonna work, but I think like a bit of multi-class of Sebring. I kind of hate Sebring, but I, I do want to do the 12 hour. I think it'll be great. I've started liking it more s since the IndyCar. A little bit better. Yeah, I do a ton of races exactly like that. C bump. But it's not too bumpy in the GTPs. Like in the Indy car, it was like bumpy, like realistically bumpy. And then in the, uh, in the GTPs, it's super smooth. This lap shit. 46.4. I don't know if I can go a second quicker. Let's see. The leader's just done it. One forty five by nine one. I 18 slaps on any car, it's fucking amazing, yeah, I love it. Second split, probably. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Exactly. Pretty unlikely we get into that. Particularly the way my week's been going. Okay, what time was that? That's a 45.7. That would put me pole. <laughs> but we're starting last. <laughs> yeah, 45.7, 4.6. There you go. It was a poll time. Perfect. All right, so this I'll use this setup then. This one seemed to do the trick. Uh, so season two, Suzuka Grand Prix, ESS R1. <laughs> Pretty old setup. It's about a year old, this setup. <laughs> Well, it's alright. I don't think anything has changed that much in that time. Well, I have no idea. But uh, it's quick enough to be competitive, so we'll know we're going to be competitive here. We're going to start dead last for once. There's no one... No one is um, starting behind me in this one for once. So uh, I think we'll do an early pit stop. Um, early pit stop, and then we're going to go... Uh, yeah, try undercut ev as many people as possible. Um, because you don't have to put too much fuel in, so the fuel offset won't make that much of a difference. So, I think we can go for top three, maybe, depending on how the race goes. Obviously, I mean they're pretty close up at the top, but a lot can happen. Suzuka, IMSA, uh, weather looks like it's staying dry, so uh, we don't have to worry about that. Hopefully, I don't know if the rain just forms at all. I don't. I've never. Se I haven't seen that happen yet. Um, yeah, so we're starting last. Um, what was I looking for? Oh, yeah, I was going to see how many people. So there's 42 people in the race. Fairly evenly spread between the three classes. 
but uh, most GT3s. So yeah, let's see how we go. Should be interesting. Shame it's not wet. Yeah, I mean, let's see what happens. But yeah, in the wet, I, I could... Uh, Lachlan's very good in the wet, so it would be tough to beat him, but otherwise I would think that second place would be... or a win would be possible if it wasn't for Lachlan. I would, yeah, probably second place would be possible in the, ra in the rain. Shit race, uh, shit but man, again, we don't know what's going to happen in the race. Anything could happen. So um, we'll see. So we're not going to take tyres. I, I don't know what to do actually on tyres. I think not take tyres. I think no, no tyres. Casey Tucker Racing, thank you for the follow. Multiclass is great, yeah. Doggo is live. Thank you for the follow for Denver Rise. 45 minutes. The track temp is 19. The air temp is All right, guys. 19. Dry IMSA. Celsius. This is not what we wanted. This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. Where is it? We need to follow car number This is 10. the one thing we didn't want to happen. It's dry. Careful raising, yeah, remember careful in the dry. <laughs> the most sincerest apologies. Thank you. Okay, Emilio, get ready. Okay. Go, go, go. Wait. Expelliarmus hardball. Right side. Bang. And the car is gone. Bandit right. Drive, bro. Still there. Still alongside. Fucking clear now. Nice start, mate. Well done. Okay, good start. Wait, we have to refuel 30 liters? Holy shit, okay. Maybe it's worth taking rears or something. Actually, no, I don't think it's worth still. Wow, you use so much more fuel in the dry. Clouds look sus, yeah. Weather forecast says absolutely nothing. The radar said nothing as well. So uh, I think it's just that. Yo, Wendell, get your toaster, shitty ass fucking Wi Fi internet out of here, bro. Moron left. Oi. Sorry. Idiot still there. All clear. That was close. P9. Bit of a lunge there on Paris. Just about made it work. Nearly crashed into the car ahead of him. real M POV for LMP2. No, actually in real life you, you sit on it like a bicycle. You know like the center console you have in a in a normal road car. Like you sit on that bit but like forwards it's like a saddle, like a motorbike. And then you sit like right under the under the windscreen with your face, just like this. So my seating position is not entirely accurate. Ride it like a horse. <laughs> and then you drive it with handlebars and you have a little... Just like a motorbike. 
You have to lean into the corners as well. Give you more grip. Good pass, nice front. Bears didn't fight that. Here I'm also hit 4.3. Did he really? Fucking hell, he's Houston already on 4.3. Here you go. Point two five. I mean, it's still the easy bit, right? I mean, getting over 5k, he already did that once, but that's already fucking tough. Not P1 because we uh, started last. The channel points issue. Some people have too many. Dude, the GTPs aren't even getting away from the, the leading LMP2s. It closes at about 36 minutes. on YouTube, it's Miguel Bento Red Weasel Take it on the chicane, Emil Copy. Oh, clear left, clear left. Your left, moron. Good pass. Cheers, man. All right, Emilio, hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Seventh position. That's the fastest lap of the race. I thought I was going to do an early stop, but uh, we use a lot more fuel than I thought we did. Can take either fronts or rears. I think they're pretty even. Oh god, what the fuck? What? How's he done that? What the fuck was that? That's like traction control failure. Like in the wet, okay, but... What happened there? Did he get on the grass? Car failure. Mechanical issue. Right rear wheel detached. Payback, he's just here to make it more exciting. You're reeling, Perry in. The gap's now 0.6. Perry! Grant me more eye racing <laughs> rating without raising suspicions. Why am I taking the wet line in there, mate? I've been doing so many wet laps around here. Forgotten what a dry braking <laughs> braking zone looks like. The like got full on brain damage. The coffee, thank you for the follow. V6, two I wasn't supposed to spin up until lap six. <laughs> Obviously lost a bit of time. We're only 6.7 behind the leader, man. This is actually not too bad. Good 
Keep the pressure on. Don't give him any respite. Do a dive bomb for the chat. I already did a couple. Come on, give me a break. Mistake. Car is leaving right half on her. Clear. Car on the left. And still there. Still, still there. Not still there. Perry is really new in. The gap's now 0 0.24. Up. Oi. Okay, it's up to P5 now. Dude, this track feels so easy in the dry now compared to the wet. Oh, what the fuck? GTP. Had enough. Good one, wasn't it? That was a pretty good one. Studio audience loving it. Best track of this game. I like this track a lot. It's great. Yeah. Sorry, Lamborghini man. Uh, I was about to eat you. Lambo man, take me by the hand, take me to the land that you understand. The gap ahead is now 0.7. You superhero. Nice one, Emilio. You're looking really good. Come on, keep your focus. P5. Your lap times are pretty consistent. Slower class car ahead. Is this the Lamborghini man? Bandit left, Abracadabra, and the car is gone. That was murdered. And it's only a shit race. The shit stream. Out. Shit, man. Where are you? Help just me. Gonna have to send it, mate. We're gonna have to shut your mum, Jim. Fuck. Alright, here comes the chaos. I've actually gained on the leaders these last couple laps. Just. Maybe they hit a bit of traffic before us though. The lap time was at 147.57. You're two tenths down in second. Idiot left. Clear. Human left. All clear. Defend your position. Don't let him through. It's too early to box, unfortunately. Okay, Emilio, 
stay close, wait for him to make a mistake. Slower class car. Production value just went up. Ten points on a stock exchange. Oh, what the fuck am I talking about? Okay, yeah, this will be interesting. You're right, moron. Clear right. Oh, I could have boxed then. I don't know whether to take tyres or not. No, it's 26 yeah, litres. It won't be worth it. 148.48. Sector 1 is 0 0.8. Off the pace. The pit window is now open. Oh, shit. <laughs> this guy must be like, why is everyone overtaking me on the wrong fucking side of the road? Perry behind is now zero point three five. Dry and start race, yeah, but it's gonna be dry all race. Probably. I mean, let's see. But zero percent forecast, nothing. Radar had nothing. I think the radars. I haven't seen any time when the radars wrong. So if the radar says it, I think it's. It's just what it is. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I don't remember how to drive and dry either. I'm just winging it. Alongside right, a bonnet, a dab. We will try. We will try it far in. Weather more unpredictable? I wouldn't say the weather's unpredictable. It's less predictable than it was. You're coming up on some slower cars. The same These guys are busy fighting, they might not notice you. Okay, fuck this. We'll try something. Look out for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour. 4, 3, 2, one. Box now. Oh. Oof. Oof. Oh, we had some r repairs? What the fuck? Did I hit anyone? I don't think I hit anyone. Okay, whatever. I guess I did. I must have. There's a car behind. Stay inside the line. Okay, this isn't too bad. We have to pass a bunch of GTs again, but could be worse. The gap to Lorenzo. Ahead is increasing. It's now 3.0. Okay, Emilio, there's a group of slower cars ahead. These guys are busy fighting each other. Left side. Clear left. Human left at your car. Full push, full push. Sketchy pit stop, it's okay, it was on the limit. Car ahead. Really right. All clear. Never a limit. Oh, good. Is he? 
What the fuck are you? P11. Idiot left. Expel Yarnus Hardcore. I'm a unicorn. How even are you doing? Like, what are you? Really? Gap to Lorenzo. Behind is increasing. It's now 1.8. Sorry, Cohen. Not my turn. Sorry. Dude, this is going to be so good for my SR, man. 0x so far. Hopefully it stays this way. I should have been saving fuel as well early in the race. Whatever. Slower class car ahead. Mm, maybe I should have taken tyres, I'm not sure. Gonna get this guy in 130R unfortunately, I think. Or maybe just after. Yeah, just after. I tried to stay as much on the outside as I could, Christian. If so open has no rain? Uh, sometimes it does. What is it? I think the chance is like 50% or 40% or something. But yeah, I wanted rain but we didn't get it. Fortunately this car is really nice and it's in the dry as well so... P drag, thank you for the follow. Legend. You're approaching a group of slower cars. Fix, same percentage. I think Fix has no chance of rain. Yeah, I really like it this way. Where like sometimes you get dry race, sometimes you get wet race. I think it's really cool, man. It keeps you on your toes a little bit more. Instead of it just being like normal eye racing where it's all about like practice, 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 practice on dry. It kind of spices things up a bit. I mean, obviously you can practice wet, but like you only have so many hours in the day and stuff. So. Lorenzo. Behind is now 4.3 seconds. Okay, it's fine, it's not too bad. Bandit's right. Clear of the bandit. Keeps it from being hard lap gods, yeah. Ahead is now. A little bit, you know. And the car is gone. You've just done a 148.64. Which I, I really like that. I really like that side of it. Like you don't know what to practice for. Fuel will be tight. We think you'll get to the end. We're not sure. Full on rain damage. Regretful. Thank you for following. Undercut put extra time through GT. Yes, I know, but. It was getting into such a cluster, I don't know. I mean, I, I could have pitted a lap earlier if I wanted to do this. But, uh, you know, the, the LMP2s will be fighting themselves a little bit as well, I think. At least the ones for P3. I just didn't want to get held up in them battling. But let's see, let's see. We're 44 seconds behind the leader. Now we've got some clear air. 
I knew it was a bit of a risk, but like, the GTs further down didn't seem too bad, but we lost a bit of time in the overall, so whatever. We were six seconds off the lead when we went in. Or a bit more, because we look, just lost a lot of time. The trail in slow speeds. You've just done yeah, they fixed that, but it's still... Four. Yeah, they already fixed that. It's great. Looks much nicer. Thank you, Michael. The captain Rowena behind is now 7.4 seconds. Okay, now we just push, see what we can do with what we got. Like the others might take tires as well, which will lose them like 10 seconds if they take all four. Maybe not 10 seconds, I can't remember how much, but they'll lose some time if they do that. Might be worth taking tires, I'm not really sure though. My rears are going off quite a lot though. Come on, head up, keep your focus further down the track. That's 20 minutes to go, the leader is pitting now. Okay, P1's in. Triple. He's leading the race. We're doing last to first, plus I pitted already. So we'll see where Lachlan comes up, that'll give us a good indication of where we are in the, in the order. Killing my rears man doing this. Skill issue. Okay, 10 seconds behind Lachlan, that's pretty much where we were when we pitted, more or less. Maybe a little bit slower. But that's compared to the leader, we're pretty similar pace to the leader. How far was he ahead of the others actually? Marco, what the fuck? Are you blind? Stupid cunt. Look at outside. The leader, Turbo, is pitting. Okay, easy, easy. <laughs> Gotta love him, <Emerson>, mate. <laughs> Even in the dry. Lost the leap with the problem, you idiot. Idiot. Barb is now leading. Rejoining in front. The gap to the Calvillers. Behind is now 6.2 seconds. Okay, Emilio, come on, stay focused. Apexes and exits, uh. apexes and exits. P8, that lap time was 146.60. Want to save a tiny bit of fuel as well, actually. Yeah, that's P2 up there. We gained a lot of time on P2. Why is this guy so fucking slow? Come on, mate. Pick up the pace, man. Are you on wet or something? Ah, oh, that's the... You probably put four new tires on. Oh, my God. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 2.0 seconds. <laughs> Okay. 
Slower class car ahead. Oh wow. Somehow that made that as sketchy as possible pretty much. Uh, there's gonna be an ad soon. What if we just run it now? I think we'll just run it now. Sorry, guys. Hate to have ads in the middle of the race. But I just fucked it up. Fucked up the timing. Oh, what's this? Yo, can you just fucking sort yourself out, man? It's dry. Why is the GTP all over the place, man? He's he's we're racing him for position. What are you the trying to guy? 0.7 off the pace. <laughs> You're two tenths off the pace in sector three. Full on brain damage. The gap in front is increasing. It's now Thank you for the follow, Nimbus. Ah, oh, here he comes again. Pitting. Oh, mistake. The gap to the Calvillers. Behind is increasing. It's now 7.0. Thanks for the fly, Barry. I didn't understand you. You going and let me back? Uh, one X is over. We've been warned about track limits. This guy's just gonna get the fuck away, isn't he? All clear. That's fine. Oh my god, mate. Okay, we're third, I think. Third on the... Oh, no, what? B5. No, we're fourth. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, no, maybe we're third. We're fourth of those that have pitted. That strategy didn't really work. It was worth a go, though. I was getting held up like fuck. I think they must just have had a really clean run after. Team is to catch Carlos. Carlo. It's Carlo, not Carlos. No S. Okay, two seconds. We gained a tenth last lap. Just the one Carlo. <laughs> the gap behind is now 1.1 seconds. No Carlos. The leader is pitting. Always losing time. Turbo is now in the lead. Bang, and the car is gone. You've just done a one forty six point five nine. There he is. We caught him. Expelliarmus Cargon. Human right, Avana Cadaver. 
I'm about to go and lose the position. Uh, and I'm running, I'm running fifth. Fuck. Didn't even gain a place in all that pit lane bollocks. How am I keeping up with that GTP? You should ask him. I could have sent it. What are you doing, Josh? Where in the world did you want it to pass there, man? In the drive, maybe so we need to reevaluate. Yeah. I don't know, he's on the same lap as us. Carlos might be able to keep the bandit behind, but a singular Carlos stands no chance. Oh God, he's all over the place. I was talking about the GTP, right. but Emilio, this guy's also internet is a bit weird. There's no awkward up here. What the fuck is that internet doing, man? Fucking hell, man, it's so hard to read what he's about to do. You've got 10 minutes left, 10 minutes to go. The gap behind is now 1.8 seconds. Oh, where's it gone? Game capture, is the game capture broken? I mean, it's really fucking bright for me as well, if you're wondering. Careful with him. <laughs> Let code you to death. Yeah, hopefully not. Okay, we're fourth again. This is for the podium. Goes to four FPS every ten seconds or so. Oh shit. Okay. What the fuck? Can he even not? Can he not see me? Yeah, fuck, man. Oh, is it my internet? Oh, it's my internet. Okay, it's my internet. <laughs> Why is my internet so fucked? Shit. I was blaming Carlo's internet. It's my internet the whole time. My camera feed is solid. What? I can see it says there's bad internet on my OBS. For some reason. His stream was down, so he just immediately tried to pump the dude in front keg. Yeah, he needed, needed to leave me room on the outside then. Yellow flag. Yeah, guys, I passed him off stream. Wasn't to be caught by the fast cars. <laughs> You've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Block the flying car and the chicken. Yeah. But my, my in-game stuff reads all good. Is it still shit? I mean, it's still running low. the servers maybe but then this guy's got shit internet at the same time i don't know it's really hard to race like this oh my god like what the fuck man i don't know 
It goes wide. I'm like, oh, I could go inside. Like obviously, I can't. Like, I would be tempted to go inside there, but I just can't read what he's fucking doing. Okay, Emilio, keep Adam on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. Like, it is just him, it's not me. It's Josh seems alright. Make them work for it. That's five minutes to go, five minutes. Takes a long time to get on the power there as well. I have to like wait for him to get on power. But he's also, his internet's all over the place. It's fucking hard, man. Push him off, hope for the best. No. I'm not even convinced he can properly see me. Like that, that block he pulled. And then his car had zero like impact on like me hitting him. It would have been him off normally. drove across my line, so there's not really much I could do, but, yeah, anyway, I'll have to see what we can do. The stream's still dying. Yeah. Yeah. Why is all this shit happening, man? Normally that would be fine, but it was just fucking hard to read because the internet's all over the place. I'm sorry, Dada. My fucking tires are dead, man. I should have taken all four. Man. Okay, the stream is back. The stream should be back now. Faster car behind. Slower class car ahead. The stewards have warned us about track limits. Keep it between the car is really right half of her. Clear. Well, my fronts are so fucked. Car left. Clear left. Blue flag. Yeah, 
Yellow flag. No. Chris. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> what the fuck? Someone just had a big crash there as well. Same time. Oh, that was not a 1x, how the fuck? The mythical zero I lost again. Where would you go to the outside? If I didn't lift you back. Oh, dude, these yeah. tires are so fucked, man. I should have taken four tires. Carlos' internet is better. I mean, it coincided with when my internet is better, so it's probably my fucking internet. Oh, how stressful, man. Oh, hang on. Okay, that's the finish. Well done, mate. Uh. Oh, well, good race otherwise. Good race, good race. That was fun, man. It was just difficult. It was difficult with that internet, but... Uh, I think... I think I would have been able to pass him without the internet. I would have been a bit more, like, decisive at the start. Also, there was one lap where I could have gone the inside in the hairpin, I think. Was that on him? Can't remember. Uh, but uh, that was a good race, man. And then there was one lap where I was really close and then he just like moved over okay. on me. Because I don't think he saw me. And then I drove into the back room but he had no f it had no effect on his car. Weird, man. Uh, I want to see that lap actually. Bento, by the way, you are hitting me there and you are complaining also. You hit me and I lost my rear, you know? <laughs> Wait, so let's see. It wasn't here. Stream is over. No, stream should still be working. Oh my god, is my YouTube stream died now. What's going on? Oh, it was this. Yeah, look at this. Like, what the hell was that? Does he have bad internet? Hey, buddy. Oh, he's gone. I'm watching Do the replay right now. Well, my ping's I'm 91. That was my internet, I think. Why, though? Why is it so bad? It was his internet. I think it's my internet, because... Yeah, I'll take it, man. It's my fault. I thought I was more on the left. I thought also there that yeah, I mean, look, I we're on... I left my rear, you know. That's why I... Sorry, we're on 75 ping, I should normally be on like 66, no like that, right? I think it's just recovering. Yeah, man, sorry. Sorry about that. I really thought I was more on the left side. I really did. It was his internet. Oh, it was his oh, internet as well? Okay. Well, we just both had shit internet, yeah, so... Yeah, We'll see you next time, man. Yeah, because, man, this was my best chance in the end, right? And I go to the outside, okay, like, I got to run, and then he's just, like, straight in front of me, but I guess he just couldn't see me at all. Uh, so that's annoying, man. The internet kind of made it a bit difficult, but it's still a good race, like, he drove well. And then he's blinking at, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Did everyone else blink at that time as well? That was just him, so. I don't know, we both just had shit internet, so whatever. It's still fun. Just annoying, man. I want to get third, I want it third. I want it third. We're at decent pace, though, I think. Tires went off like crazy. Much more than I thought. Like, if I'd have taken tires on my pit stop, it might be a different story. Um, 
but who knows, man? Who knows? It was an interesting race. I think we could have fought for the win in this one, were we? 11.5 seconds behind at the end. Yeah, we could have. Would have been a close battle for the win, but you guys made me start last, so we had to stop. That's all right. I, I want to, you know, that's why I have it there. It's fun. Uh, is the YouTube stream dead? What should we do next, by the way, guys? You guys have any any ideas? How do you, um? by the way, how do you make the UI refresh? Because they took that feature away. USF 2K. Where is USF? Uzef. Uzef. At 18. So now I have to find the time. It's around here. Is USF like good though? Nine people. Came back. Oh, we're back. We're back on YouTube. Sorry about the issues. Seems like my internet's taking a fat dump. <laughs> um. IndyCar, anyone doing IndyCar? 14... Might be worth doing IndyCar. Uh, what else? GT? No, I don't want to do GTs. Did they fix the tires on GT3s, by the way? Or are they still overheated all the time? USF always good. Not really on European time slots, though. We could... Chuck an indie car, maybe an LMP2, I don't know. Let's see. Anyway. Um I might try and do the long indie car race actually. That could be quite fun. Anyway. So um anyway, we had a we had a battle with Carlo, it was a bit annoying. But uh not his fault. Just the internet. Um oh, what's that? We had some good moves at the start though. This guy wasn't using the curve, so we just zero X'd him a little bit. Go three wide, get through, do the wet overtake on that guy. So I don't know, I think like we passed people and then we kind of got stuck. I got past Francesco and then, yeah, we wadded up behind the next two. So these were the two we were fighting like earlier in the race as well, even with the, diff the different strategy. So um, yeah, I think the, the strategy I did was a bit bad. Yeah, Super Formula's at half past though, it's a little, a little, in a little while. So yeah, I was like flying through and then we get up to these two and then just didn't progress anymore. So uh, yeah, it was worth trying the early stop I suppose, but it was just not really the best way of doing it. Um, I got past one of them, didn't I? No, I didn't. Yeah, like, we're just getting held up like shit here. And I was like, okay, whatever. Let's just box. See what happens. Wait, what? I hit you on a dive. I did dive a couple people. But they were okay. They were okay dives. This was right on the limit, this bit. <laughs> I couldn't go much further forward. Yeah, anyway, let's see. Where was the... Um, does anyone remember when everyone was calling each other, like, <laughs> cunts and stuff? <laughs> Alright, first incident of the race. Just small ones, nothing really, nothing major. Small bonks. It's all good, it's all good. Hit him, bonk. Oh, shit. It's a harmonica effect. <laughs> I mean, accordion. Ah, uh, dude, how long does this crash go on for, man? It's fucking ages. So when's the crash start? It starts there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, about eight seconds. Do the dominoes kept falling into place. Bro. Okay. This was a dive. Almost hit the yellow car. I hit that car. Wasn't the best move I've ever done. It was a little bit. It's a good thing Paris got out of my way because otherwise we'd have smashed. That's you, Paris. Yeah, well, it wasn't the best move. I, I feel feel a bit bad for it. Sorry about that. It's 
So much space, yeah, you did. It was really like uncommitted for me. Like, look at me, I'm just like here. Probably look at my break, I'm probably going off. And then like, oh, back on, oh, 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 oh. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Great move, thanks. Thanks, Jimmy. There's a Jim Jimmy Broadbent, he knows what he's talking about. He's a professional sim racer. See, he says great move, so perfect. How you doing? <laughs> there you go. Very, he's, he's, a, he's a sim racing steward, so he said it was a great move, so... Just ignore the capper after, it's, you know. It's fine. Fine, there's nothing wrong with that. Great steward, exactly. Professional sim racing steward. Um... See, that was better. I practiced on you, uh, Paris. And then, bam, straight through. Easy peasy. No sweat, no stress. Just like that. Have Capo and IRL steward docs. Probably. Yeah. Second take a penalty to Magnuson for Cap. <laughs> I don't think they do. To be honest. Probably a no, yeah. I did. Wait, it was a it was a start last, yeah. What should I do next, guys? I kind of want to do the Indy car race. Should we do the Indy car race? I don't think I have a setup though. That's the problem. No way, that's fixed. Uh, up here, twenty-two people signed up. Should be worth doing. Let's see if there's any higher high ratings in here. Okay, guy. Just a long ass race, a 5k guy. Okay, these guys will know what it. How many before this splits? Yeah, I need I need a setup. I need a setup. Maximum 26. So this might split actually if I sign up. Cheers, man. I do need to. Uh, I haven't figured out which setup shop I wanted to get for this season. As USF has decent sign up. Not as good as IndyCar, mate. Why would you do USF when you can do an IndyCar? Do you know what I mean? 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 You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah. Ooh. I might have a setup from ages ago anyway. Indian car races. Why go 180 when 140 do trick? Which setup shop is good for this season with like wet setups, by the way, guys? I haven't figured it out. Like, I've been waiting to pick a setup shop for this season. I was thinking of going with US, uh, VRS. Just because they have everything. Uh, let's chuck an ad in. Um, we're not really doing much. Should we get a uh, song up? Let's get a song up. <laughs> what we got? Uh, well, let's get the country one on because we're in America now. I love me good race. Battle side by side. Oh, wait, it's gone. What? I love me good race. Battle side by side, no seat belts to help brace face to face with the devil as they fail to catch the slide. Oh, I've got one already. Right None of that pansy ass. Big tugging smile for the cameras. Oh, shit. Man, pure. Hell yeah, brother! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We can't leak the lines before the race starts. Battle side by side No seat 
Deliver their newborn baby in the pit lane. That's that funky chucking race time shit. What genre? I don't know. Country. I think it's just country. I can't remember. Whoa, this, this open set feels really goofy, man. It feels so different from the fixed set. The fixed setup feels like a real car. And then this setup feels like. Weird as hell. I'm a users lately, yeah. 200k channel points. No, no. Mate, this thing is is sitting on the rear like crazy. <laughs> Men deliver their newborn baby in the pit lane. Inspirational, man. We should all aspire to be like them. Almost as good of a hook as black check mark, yeah. Black check mark. Okay, car feels a bit better now. Yeah, we'll just run this set. The Apex set from last season should be fine on IndyCar, right? Should be fine, yeah. All right. All right, good. Let's go, let's go. Come on. All right, let's get another one up. Um, be right back, guys. Oh, is it no split? Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. Um. Bandits rise up. It's your time to be a winner. Pedal, pedal to the metal. Listen to your hero center. See a gap. Well, I love the dip bandages. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Banditius the Wise? I thought not. Hey, it's for not the race, are y'all running primary or alternate? The racing staff would tell you it's a bandit legend. legend. Darth Banditius was a dark lord of the bandits. You gotta be both and so powerful and so icy could use his black switch to influence the eye. Racing that code to kill eye racers without even getting a four X. He had so such a knowledge of the sporting code yeah, And he sure. could even keep the ones he cared the, the about From being banned and let code revive Racing 
is a pathway to many abilities some you consider the game trick me oh we need to do that yeah. he became so powerful the only thing he peak i reading 7.3 something race in the count which eventually of course he did Mini burgers, mini sausage roll. He taught his apprentice his password, then his Your apprentice is locked in. Nice thing. Oh, oh, just at a decent oh, time. Oh, oh. Ironic. He could save others from being banned, but not himself. <laughs> so sad. The end. It's I... Racing account. Don't go over 200 kilometers an hour in your outlap. Too late. Fuck. What happens now? We're taking requests for the songs. Darth Plague is the wise. Yeah. Almost. These are going to be some of like the proper, the normal, um, the normal indie car boys, isn't it? Yeah. What's up, Mike? How you doing, man? Recovered from the community races yet? All right. Too early in the day for regular IndyCar people. Yeah, I mean, some early ones, right? I'm sure some of these are. Oh, Dan Camish. Fucking hell. <laughs> Lol. I recognize that guy. Did I ever tell you guys about the time I beat Dan Camish? <laughs> in a Formula Ford race. It was 2010. Everyone's just going like, oh, not this shit again. Yeah, I used to race Dan in uh, Formula Ford. He races BTCC these days. I don't know if he's still doing that. I haven't been watching BTCC for too long. Real Formula Ford, yeah. British Formula Ford Championship, one of the last years before it turned into British F4. And lost all of its identity. Became a generic national Formula Ford Championship. Truly a sad day for uh, British motorsport and international motorsport, really. I had P1. Oh, I didn't know you won one. <laughs> nice. Darth Banditius. Are they as fun as, much fun as in simulators? Yeah. Yeah. They are fucking amazing in real life as well. I mean... You know, I've driven F2, F3, F4, and Formula Ford. My Formula Ford season was my most memorable one in terms of, like, on-track action. And just, like... Like, you, you have... S <laughs> it's a completely different experience. Like, all the other series, they're, like... Uh, like, you race on, like, FIA Grade 1 tracks quite often. There's no danger. In a Formula Ford, you feel like you're going to die every time you go through a fast corner. Because there's no runoff in England, really. Apart from a Silverstone. What car? This is an uh, Indy car. That's Paul. Oi. Great experience, yeah. It was scary as hell, though. Like, you look back on it and you're like, ha, that was fucking great. But when, you, when you're approaching, like... Uh, like Paddock Hill Bend, for example, right? In a real car is scary as hell, man. Especially if you're trying to go, you know, you're really trying to push the limits. Like, take a deep breath before you go in. There's so many corners like that in England, like um, Island Bend as well in Alton Park. Um, most of Castle Coombe. <laughs>
Most of the GP loop at Brands Hatch as well. Game trick me copy pasta. Is it not on the copy pasta in my Oh well. I only gained twelve I ratings for winning this race, man. If I did if I do end up winning it. Don't race IRL now, no, no, no. You're now 1.1 1 .1 seconds quicker than second place. I mean, I would, but just the uh, it, it's it's pretty tough, man. It's pretty tough. It's tough out there, you know. I'm on pole by a second. Okay, this is not what I expected, but <laughs> you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I thought it'd be a bit closer than that. I'm cleaning up uh, IndyCar this week, really. Until Can you tell me how the push to pass works? Wait, hang on. Uh. Hey, would it be smarter for me to to run primaries right now and then switch to alternate to the end of the race, or just keep the alternate to the run primaries at the end? Yeah. Uh, there you go. Sorry, no Danish. <laughs> I can do it though. I'm gonna talk Danish on a whole lobby of English speakers, you know. What what are they gonna think of me? They probably think that's a cool language, man. Where can I learn that? Uh, Danish is cool language. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, run three minute ad. we'll run a quick ad now as well and then we'll be clear for the race uh, cool man on lap for P2 you ran out of fuel ah shit so which, which, which tyres is it putting me on here hahaha <laughs> the end of the session you're on pole well done the real Dan Kamish it is yeah 2.9k well for Dan it is him though the real Dan Kamish the touring car driver extraordinaire did Dan win a championship he was really close to doing one one year then his brakes failed or something. I don't know. I haven't been keeping up since then. Yeah, did I ever tell you guys the story about the time, <laughs> the time I flew over the top of Dan Kamish in a Formula Ford race at Castle Coombe? <laughs> There's a video of it somewhere on the internet, I think. His pace isn't 2.9k. Racing for second. <laughs> <laughs> Check. Yeah, 
Pierre Bourdon is in here as well, the most uh, experienced road racer on iRacing. Uh, I'm on softs for some reason. I don't really know what that... Uh, what the, what's the strategy in these? I've got the right setup on. 25 laps. Three minutes of ads. It's okay, nothing's happening. I'm talking... Well, we're just having a leisurely conversation. Blacks are good. So, I'm on red. Reds aren't bad. Hold position behind the safety car in the left lane. Pump for Sebring 12 hour? Yeah. Didn't it just happen? You mean the iRacing one? Yeah, I'm going to be doing the iRacing one for once. First special event I'll do next weekend. Race down in Delara Dash, Pocono. Yeah, I've raced down a couple times here and there. I completely forgot who he was at the time. Beat him up. Got lucky. Wait, what? Oh, you beat him. Ah, okay. Just got lucky. I don't think Dan spends that much time on here, though. To be fair. He can be quick in some cars and stuff. But generally, he's... Focus a bit more on the real life stuff, I think. Not a pole position. I am pole position. What setup? I'm using last. No, I'm using the season four IndyCar setup for um, from. Oh, the he slows down a lot. The pace car now. I'm using the. Um, See the season four setup from uh, ART Apex or oh, ARA, right? Like you starting from behind. All oh, right, I see. Yeah. Well, it probably would have been more fun to see it start last in this one actually than the previous one. But there you go. Apex ones are very good for mini car. I've heard that, yeah. Brandon's quite quite a fast indie 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 driver. Makes some good indie setups. Oh yeah, they called him Fred, right? They called the safety car driver Fred now. Fred in the safety car. He's accelerating out of the corner. Was that a bit of opposite lock I saw there? Or am I just imagining? Fred Mylander. <laughs> Still was doing BTCC December, uh, September 22. I got as far as seeing Plato when on the pit walk. Oh yeah. I had Jason Plato uh, judge me as part of a young driver program thing. The funny guy, Jason Plato. The, game, the genre for the game Trick Me. Um, Midwest Emo. I don't know. <laughs> or like some really sad. Something really sad. Let's get ready to rumble. Get ready. Floor it. So we have to use both tires in this race, right? Well done, Emilio. Good start. Full Let's go! Lock 95 gives it pre lock with a subscription. Lock 95 gives it a tier 1 sub to pre lock. They have given 10 gift subs in the chat. 
Oh, I don't. Thank you. Cheers, man. Cheers for followers, guys. Thank you, Ardog, for the gifted. Appreciate it, man. Ah, uh, one X. Oh wow, it's quite a quite a lead we've built up here. Kian and uh, Yuki Hunt, UK Hunt. Oh man, there's so much more downforce on this compared to this fixed setup. Oh wow, a little bit of oversteer through there. No SUV mode like fix, yeah. I mean, I quite like the fix setup. I mean, I know it's not quick, but I like the way the car drives on it. This feels like it's on rails way too much. telling me about it but the fixed setup was shit and yeah I think if you use fixed in the open you're gonna have a bad time for sure how much slower is it big Wazowski thank you for the follow Several seconds off, okay, yeah. Sectors one and two are quick. They've randomly changed it from 20 minute race to 30. Yeah, well, they did that, yeah. They didn't randomly do it. They said they were going to do it on the forums and that. But yeah, obviously. Obviously, that's annoying. Fury Racing, thank you for the follow. The gap two. Yeah, Mish. Behind is now 5.1. I feel like they should have done it between the weeks, right? But oh, whatever, they got the fix out quickly. <laughs> it's not ideal, but at least they're doing stuff fast. That is annoying for you, for sure. They didn't say anywhere, like they didn't warn you. Fury Racing thing for follow. Oh, sorry, that's my Discord, sorry. Turn it off in a sec. Okay, Emilio, your water temperature is creeping up. Okay, oh god, no more Discord. We're quickest Sounds. right now. Man, <laughs> Indy's quite a farm for me at the moment. Every time I sign up to an Indy race, it's just... Oh, Cone, hello. Your refuel window will open on lap 11. And it should it's close sailing, on lap man. 13. Oh, 
Although, yeah, everyone's on, everyone's on softs up at the front. Or alternate, or whatever you call it. Reds. Incident in Collier. Looks like it's been alone. Only one more minute. One more minute. Tires full of fast, it's true. As compared to my session best now. Get that up You're there. Down the lead. Thought that was a 142.14. Still a lot of fun this car, it just feels a bit more. Uh, I don't know. I really like the way it drives on, drives on fixed. This is a better setup, no question. You can just sling it around a little bit more on the fixed. Ten lappers. What are the ten lappers doing? What are they up to now? Okay, we got ten poster passes. Get around the back, complaining how unfair our racing is. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Get ten lap as well. No, I thought the ten lappers were the ones that were annoying the people at the back. It was hard to understand fully from that from that uh, message. Where's IndyCar next week? It's like Auto Club Speedway or what? Let's see, I might do some of that. Maybe like one. See how it goes. Fontana. Brian Fantana. Auto Club. Did they um, demolish Auto Club in real life or no? I heard they were going to change into like a short oval, a short track. Something weird like that. They demolished it. Like fully demolished? I want to say redacted car, yeah. It's okay, we can talk freely now. Turning into a short track. Got to see it happen. Oh, you were you were there? Kind of sad. Short track racing for you. That's so weird, though, isn't it? The gap to Hamish behind is now ten seconds. So are they? Are they gonna? What are you doing? Are they going to build a bunch of stuff on the old lands? They sold land, the land to who? Developers or what?
The Laguna Seca League of Woes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think that will happen, man. Laguna Seca is too famous. Hey, let me buy your wing as well. Who knows, man? Did I have a race of Rockingham? Yeah, I did, yeah. I did one race. With Dan Kamish, hey. Dan Kamish was there. Oh, well, I did two races. It was a two race. It was like a double header weekend. Two races in that weekend. Uh, it wasn't a particularly exciting weekend. I don't think anything really happened. I got like a, I broke my gearbox in practice. And took the oval, I think. I can't even remember, to be honest. Yeah, this is Apex Talk from last season, from uh, season four. Okay, Emilio, we're matching race pace. Good consistency, keep them coming. I was going to say matching race pace, I'm like a second quicker than everyone, what the fuck? Jim. You okay, Jim? Jim can't believe it. Oh my god, how come you have so much pace? Government already expressed support. Yeah. I saw the Donut Media video where they're just going around interviewing people who live nearby and they're like, yeah, I don't mind, it's not too bad. <laughs> it's a racetrack, we live near it, it's kind of just is what it is. What else can they do? Close! No! The Dry Lagoon. Twenty-four hour endurance to fuck with the locusts. I am the one who raised paces, exactly. Behind is increasing. It's now 11 seconds. That was a 142.02. Oh shit, don't crash me. Thank you. Because some guy decided to put housing development there. Yeah, it's too famous though as well, like, I think. Like, for small, like, ovals and stuff, I think it happens a lot because no one really cares that much. Obviously, the people that own it and the people that race there, but if Laguna Seca was shut down, I think people all over the world would get really, I mean, race, race fans worldwide would be disappointed, would be upset. I'd be upset. I mean, come on, it was the only real live track in Gran Turismo 3, man. Giga track. But let's see, man, it would be, uh, it would suck if they did close it. Special train to the song, oh my god. California, yeah, it's not the best song I've ever heard. God. What have you cooked up? Song of the summer. <laughs> We're currently setting the pace. Why do people build near a racetrack and complain about noise? I don't think that's what's even going on really, it's just the guy... It's just one guy though, I think. One guy's just suing the shit out of these guys, of everyone. It's a mysterious, mysterious man.
one guy who bought a house near there, yeah. Like most of the neighbors don't really care. It's always one guy that fucks it up for everyone, right? Welcome to society. <laughs> Everything was going fine until this fucking guy started suing everyone. And now everyone's miserable. Yeah, I smacked the wall. They won't let me race. The gap to Warmish. Behind is increasing. If I burn it's the now bank. Oh, God, I need to hear seconds. it. Seconds. Road America's out there, but every house near has a race car in the driveway, yeah. That's the thing, like, you would think that... I mean, there's there's entire racetrack, like, country club. There's a place, I mean, most of you, I mean, people that have heard about IndyCar will know about Thermal Raceway, right? Which is like a resort circuit. Right, Emilio, you got about four laps out in the left. desert near Coachella. Lap time was 142.67. And like Palm Springs and stuff. And uh, they basically, they, they sell these like, they sell these villas that are on the racetrack. Not on the racetrack, but overlooking the racetrack. For like shitloads of money. I don't know if anyone's buying them, but they have them for sale there. And like, it looks fucking amazing. And then there's people that move near a racetrack and be like, oh no, there's a racetrack here. People daily driving, driving their race cars. That's cool, man. The houses are basically a garage with living space upstairs. Yeah, something like that. What a beautiful man in a Formula car. Where are you going, bro? Emil's like got full on brain damage. Right side or rear right. You can actually live on site, yeah. It's Brad, thank you for follow. And Thomas Parkle. But I, I saw it like a couple years back. I just got like a, I think, I don't know if it was a targeted ad or something, or I was just looking on Google Maps around that area and just saw a racetrack. I can't remember. I think I got a targeted ad. The window is open. Three laps of fuel remaining. Your lap time was 143.07. There's a interesting racetrack that's popped up in Japan now. I forget what it's called. It's called like Okurigawa or something. Where they basically just carve carve a racetrack into a mountainside. Almost. It looks super scenic. Like, it looks like something straight out of Gran Turismo. At least that's what all the comments say. Is it Makarigawa, I think it's called? But yeah, these kinds of places look really awesome. Now 14 seconds. Binaural crack of these AI songs. <laughs> they get stuck in your head. Well, they're like, I don't know how the, how they train them, but I guess they just play them like shit loads of or feed it loads of like popular songs. Hey, when should I stop? If it was one of those guys, it's a shit stream. Cool. Let's stop next lap. I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> we got a big lead. Magarigawa. Only two club, laps yeah. of fuel left. Okay, Emilio. Lap times are pretty consistent. Track's still there, yeah. Oh. Your water and your oil are both looking pretty hot right now. Try and take it easy. 
Hey, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Why does it jump two liters? Gotta make sure I select the right tires actually as well. Primaries. Ah, okay, it won't. Okay. Well, there's bugs now. for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is 72 kilometers per hour. Lewis on the hard, We're at the halfway yeah. point. We estimate one. Laps remaining on this tank. Three, two, one. Carlos, I'm that far behind. Don't you take a defensive line? You're just slowing us both down. What? What? There's traffic behind. Keep your wits about you. Human left, not still. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> There's an incident in the hairpin. It looks like. Ooh. Asian Lamar and stuff gets loud during the endurance races. During nights, not too bad. Yeah, Asian motorsports a bit weird. Like um, they don't have any like top tier series in Asian like motorsports. Like obviously, like European, you've got well, first you got like F1, you got WEC, you got. That's about isn't it? Well, you have other ones like national championships as well, then, but like. Then in America, you've got like IMSA, you've got NASCAR, IndyCar. In Japan, you've got Super Formula and Super GT. And then in like the rest of Asia, there's just. Asian Le Mans series, kind of. Video name, thank you for following. The gap is 60 seconds. The okay, you have e scooter, Asia Porsche Cup. Yeah, like nothing really like that. No, like big Asian racing series. P2. But they have like big races like Macau, obviously like Singapore GP, they used to have Malaysian GP, they still do I guess in Moto GP. They got the Thai circuit as well. I don't know, I guess motorsport isn't that big in Asia generally. That'd be cool if they had like a proper full on Asian motorsport series in some sort of level. 12 hours of Sepang, yeah. But st I watched some of that broadcast, it didn't look particularly exciting. <laughs> you know, obviously it's still tough, tough race, but uh, compared to like an IndyCar race or something, or an F1 race, even a WEC race, <laughs> Super Formula. Yeah, but this is. Um, I don't know, Japan's like its own thing, like they don't race in the rest of Asia. It's now 19 seconds. They just stay in Japan. Thanks for following. Too many islands? Wow. Yeah, I know Asia's huge. That's kind of why, like, it's just like so many people. It's no one want to race. I mean, they've got a fair amount of money these days, I feel like.
Nothing is getting better yet. You're in the lead. That was a uh, 142.14. I think there just hasn't been the interest. Although, like, um, apparently Indonesians love F1. It's one of the biggest sports in Indonesia. Yeah, like, if you look up... Um, oh, I did this a few years ago. I don't know if it's still the same. I can imagine it is. But you still, like, look up um, on, like... I think it was, like, Google Trends or something. You go, like, ah... You write F1 and then you can see geographically who searches for F1. And then one of the biggest places was Indonesia, which I just had no idea about. Has a big population. Yeah, for sure, but like, so does China. And there's basically no, one's, no one gives a shit there. Same with India as well. Compared to Indonesia, like Indonesia was just whew, super popular there. They have a MotoGP race now as well. Don't they? With that like cool little track. Wrong thing or they get murdered by CCP. Yeah, but it like. Surely racing's not... I mean, is racing basically banned in China or what? No, they still have, like, races. I don't know, it's just something that they... I don't think they're very interested in it, generally. Which is weird. I think it's weird. Surely there's some latent... Surely there's some sort of undercurrent. Moment, that lap was a if they just get the right idea, they'll zero, love motorsport, mate. Off the pace. Did they already update the physics for IndyCar? They haven't updated it for a while, but it feels really good. China has an F1 driver to root for now at least, yeah. Although he's probably not going to be there much longer, I can imagine. I don't know, the two Alpha, or whatever it's called now, Stake. Kick Salbo drivers are a bit, like, they're in a bit of no man's land, aren't they? In terms of, like... Going forwards, obviously, like, Audi's coming in. It's going to be tough for them to stay on the grid beyond, like, 26, right? How many big Chinese drivers have there been? Look, there's Hope in Tongue, man. I need to hear this song, man. Mariachi song with Moa copy pasta. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're matching race pace. That last lap was a 142.50. Like kick stand thing is the follow. Doesn't the kick car or whatever it's called, the Sauber, look fucking great though on TV? I think it looks. I think it's one of the Carlos, best looking you cars. Need some space or something when you're racing people. Like all the other cars, it's just kind of boring when you stand in next. Put a kick. Buddy, I did leave space. I was on the inside the whole time. Go on. Find it weird there's no GP in Scandinavia. Yeah, man. It's because there's not really any tracks in Scandinavia. Like, Denmark doesn't give a shit about motorsport generally. Like, uh, like they do a little bit. Like, there's a little bit of interest when, like, there's a Danish driver. Otherwise, like, there is a sort of culture for it, but it's very, like, small. Um, like, everyone's, like, too into, like, green stuff. They're like, oh, no, it's bad for the environment, blah, blah, blah. 
what I find weird is how Copenhagen they tried to make a Copenhagen GP but they didn't try to make a Copenhagen e -Prix, which I feel like Copenhagen e -Prix would fit Copenhagen way better than a Grand Prix because they wanted to close all the bridges in the middle of the city when no one really cares about F1 New track in Saudi Arabia, it's going to be mad, isn't it? But yeah, they used to go to Andersdorp, didn't they? In Sweden, but that track's a little bit too small for F1. I mean, if there was a if there was a mega Max Verstappen type sensation from Sweden, I'm sure they'd reopen it, but... What's really weird is that there's never been a GP in Finland, man. They've had like three world champions. They haven't even got close to having a GP. And they built a MotoGP track. They just built an F1 track. Come on. Kaimi ring. Failed. Is it like they, it didn't finish, did it? What happened? They just ran out of money or what happened? Plenty of rallies, yeah. It's all rally, but like, still, they're so they're so good in like other motorsport, like F1. Kyle Army, yeah, Kyle Army would be good. I think it'll come back once South Africa stops having all their problems. Or if <laughs> supposed to hold Finnish MotoGP in 2020. Oh, really? So it's like uh, it's like the Vietnam. Sector three is zero. Three three off the pace. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Reach it. Good landscape. Okay. Went to administration. Oh. Guys, we should we should get a fund together and buy Kaimi Ring. And then host MotoGP and F1, bam. Give the fans what they want. Yeah, what's the what's the northernmost GP we have on the schedule? Is it <laughs> is it Silverstone? Project to get F1 race in 2025. Oh, in Finland, is there? That'd be great, man. I mean, by then, Valtteri will probably be out. But <laughs> There'll be no Finnish drivers left. Yeah, let's start using some push-to-passes. Zandvo much further north, is it? Than, uh, than Silverstone? I thought they'd be fairly similar. Is Zanvo then the furthest north? Sector one times okay. Sector two is two tenths off the pace. You need to find a tenth in sector three. Montreal. Oh, it's probably Montreal. Yeah, it must be Montreal. Has to be Montreal. Flat or round earth? Uh, either. <laughs> it's the same on both. <laughs> Wait, which way is north on the flat earth? It's just the middle, isn't it? Flat around here. Have you been knocking around Sebring? No, no, no. Never even been to Sebring. You're leading. Montreal is south of than Hungary. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. I forgot which way it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, because I knew one of them. Like, yeah, I forgot that North America is a lot more south than uh, 
you would imagine. You would instinctively think. Is it like New York is same latitude with like uh, Lisbon more or less? Oh, I forgot to use push to pass that lap. Antarctic four GP. Left. We're quickest at the moment. Yeah, they only the go to five continents. We need Africa and Antarctica represented, man. They're in talks with Kyle Army. We just minutes. need. Come on, Tilky, get on that shit. Then the penguins need entertainment too. Penguins are people too. Moron left, clear left. Your left, moron. Pile arm is amazing, yeah. Can't call it a world championship if you don't go to Antarctica. Exactly, mate. Exactly. They have a pub and population, don't they? Actually, no, they don't, do they? <laughs> Whatever. Permanent population. Penguins are real. So Zanvor is the furthest north GP in F1. We need knock kill, man. We need knock kill. GP. Scottish GP. Semi permanent, yeah. We estimate three laps of fuel left. Oh, yeah. John Oak Road's GP. Exactly. That's what we need. Only if we think Europe. What is the most? But. No, I think because Montreal is quite a lot further south than uh, Zambo, I think. Yeah, you would think, but uh, the whole North American continent is a lot further south than you would imagine. Also, if you look at a map. This was something that was pointed out to me, is uh, if you look at a map, like Florida is further west than pretty much all of South America. There you go, weird map shit. That you never think about until someone tells you, like, oh shit, yeah. Maps are weird. It's just like the way it looks. I don't know. Come on, Emilio. Two laps left. Your P1. Only two more laps of fuel. We need to bring. Set in the pace. We need to bring F1 to Arctic Circle Raceway. Looks like such a good track. Midwest USA gets as cold or colder than most Scandinavian countries, yeah. Like, uh, yes, yeah, it's like Scandinavia. It has much like more stable temperatures throughout the year. Same with like England. I mean, England's very stable. UK, I mean. Like you don't get those extremes because I guess the ocean. Greenland's further east than Iceland. Fucking lol. 
Minus 40, plus 40, yeah. I mean, England, England temperature goes from like, I don't know, in the summer it's like 22 on average, I think. If you include night and day, it's like 20 or something. I can't remember. In the winter it's like 5, I think. But yes, they still complain. It rains a lot. It's very cloudy. It's a bit depressing. One more lap to go. Stay focused. You've only got enough fuel for this lap. You've just done a 142.51. Okay, Emilio, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Sounds like Pacific Northwest. Yeah, it does sound a lot like. I think they're quite similar. Okay, I'm just trying to get fast lap here. Don't know if we're gonna get it, but tires are a bit fucked. But whatever. And it's another brilliant. Drive there we go. Emil Bernstorff, who wins. What a fantastic drive! That was a win. That was a win. Twenty-five seconds. Not winning small today, man. All my all my race wins have been more than twenty five seconds today. I feel like. Cheers, guys. Oh, and we just missed the IndyCar fixed. That's annoying. Can I racing just stop doing this? Where they like. They make two series, they're supposed to like cycle with each other and then they then you miss the sign up for the they do it with Imsa, now they're doing it with IndyCar as well. Like come on man. Just make the IndyCar race like two laps shorter. Oh wait, is it fifteen? Oh, okay, ignore me. I'm fucking stupid. Hey, I thought if it was you go on the check hour. the replay, I left more than enough space for you and you just find out because of Wilson, buddy boy. Buddy boy. I was all about the exit of the half. I don't mind that. Nah, yeah, that was pretty much my bad. I was trying to uh, keep control of the wheel. Are oh, you good? I thought. Now, fair enough. The other one was just a race against it. And yes, I know I saw that tree <laughs> Buddy boy. We could do the uh, IndyCar fix after of this. I think it'd be a bit more even. <laughs> oh, it just went off. Well, let's see some incidents then. People in the US often get wrong. Seattle is actually further south than London in England. Yeah, like North America is a lot more south than you would think. Oh, bonk. Oh no, it's a disaster, rear wing hanging off, and it's a spin, the lack of downforce really, for another Barry, poor Barry, bonk, Try to take out as many people as possible by punting one car challenge. There you go. One, two, three. <laughs> and. Oh, nearly. Nearly got the, the extra one. Oh! Oh! 
in the Oval next week? No. Well, maybe. Let's see. Oh, God. It crashed immediately. Schlunk. I might do it, yeah. Is he going to crash again? Come on, bro. You can't get it back to the pit lane. Just park it already. Fuck's sake. It's not gonna, you're not going to fix it. It's broken. Steven's not giving up. No one can tell Steven what to do. He's going to make it to the pit lane if it costs him a DQ. incidents oh 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 he's off oh he went on the go jumped two india was running at the same time same week as same week what same time same week wait so where's this song that you guys were talking about was it next you made a song where, where can I find it? I want to listen. Oh, it's a Mercedes. Ooh. Put it in Discord. Which uh, which part? Wait, I'll find it. Donk. Should we post all these AI songs in music? I feel like that's, that's probably the right place to put it. Oh, no. These are uh, indie cars. We sit in the car, we do the D race. Oh, here we go. Perfect. The Moa Saga. Raid it on Twitch first. Let's go. I don't like this one. Generic dance song. It sounds a little bit too. I don't know. I don't know. It's not. It's not my my kind of tune. But uh, driving L's. What was this? Radio song. Uh, the, I want to see the mo more recent one. So this one's called the Moa Saga Part One. Get your neighbor, I see you in the rink again and playing your children's racing game. Hope everything's red with the boss and plan. Say that lawn mower you borrowed back in June I tried mocking but just yelling So about eight weeks is remission I don't know But you have yet to bring back my mower Maybe I can reach you here Anyhow Could use that mower Can we get some mowers in chat? Just checking in But it would be great If I could get that mower back No, it's my mower now
Oh, this is long. Statement might have meant something. Then I look and see the stars, <laughs> and I realize you're just a kid who is used to just playing expensive Mario Kart. That gives out badges, so you feel like you're getting somewhere in your life. You know that you won the race because I didn't have fuel for one more lap. The game tricked me It told me they were going to be 23 laps And they were 24 I tried to say but it wasn't enough You did not win because of pace Because I was faster Just so you know So you don't deserve Beautiful. That was a good one. That was a very good one. <laughs> oh, I love it. Super fever dream. Yeah, they, they it generates like The monologue, yeah. That's great. No, I'm crying. I'm crying. You won the race because I didn't have fuel for one more lap. The game tricked me. It told me they were going to be 23 laps. And they were 24. Love it. That was great. Hold on, next. <laughs> Song of the Summer. <laughs> the song is fire. I love the, <laughs> man, the breakdown where he starts like going off. Oh, no, I see you just I race. Fucking great, man. Genius songwriting. So Wellio, what's up man? How you doing? So you bought a car, how's it been going man? Congrats on all that, that's fucking awesome. Uh, slow down! That's the thing. You need then you need to buy mechanics and uh, new tires, uh, new gearbox every weekend, new engine, new uh, new underwear, new uh, <laughs> new engineer, new uh, what else? Fatboy two three. Thank you for the follow.
Price of the car will be the biggest one, Myth debunked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I could I could have told you that before you bought it, Swellio, but. <laughs> Sector one time is good. But uh, no, it's still sick, man. It's still awesome. Have you done any races so? F or how many races have you done so far then, Swelly? So Fuel tires, control arms, spare body parts, yeah. Do one crash and you have to basically buy a new car. I bet, well, okay, if you crash hard, I mean. Sector two time is good. Just round one, round two and end of April. Okay, sweet, sweet. Plenty of time, plenty of time to get it. Get it together. But yeah, man, I mean, that's part of why, like... You want to watch your water temperature. It's looking a little high team like Prima does so well is because they have bigger budgets than everyone. They just replace more parts more regularly because they get worn. Whereas like teams at the bottom at the back of the grid and like F2, F3, F4, whatever. Sector three times quick. They'll just run the same car the whole the whole year. Exactly the same. But yeah it's fucking it's it's mad how much you can spend and how much money actually makes you go quicker. In real life, compared to sim racing, sim racing you just put in the hours, you get there. That's why I like sim racing. But uh, real life racing, when you're actually racing, man, real life racing is the best. As long as you're not way off the pace, obviously. But that's the same with sim racing. Cost ten thousand four hundred dollars to be able to read damper data. Does it really? Okay to read ride heights. Oh, you mean the sensors cost that much? Yeah, fuck. Buying the car is the cheap part of IRL racing. Yeah. Data cost money. No, it's the sensors, right? And then sensors also fail a lot of the time. They have to buy a new sensor. Five hundred dollars for an audio cable. Yeah, I saw like uh, you know those little like Direct onboard. Um, Watch the white line. I forget what they're called. Those like onboard telemetry readout things. There's the like the blue one with the small screen in it. I mean they they do cost extra just because people pay it. Some things, but then there's other things that actually need need to cost that much. Race logic, yeah. How much was it? How much is it to buy one of those? It's like a K or something. Oh, I can't remember how much. Like you can for sim racing, you get a whole, you know, dashboard screen for like three hundred, and already that's probably overpaying because you can just get a Raspberry Pi thing probably, and for like thirty quid on Amazon and hook that up if you know what you're doing. Pit box timer, one K for a clock, yeah. It's like someone's just sitting there in the backseat like, oh, so how much, how much is, is this? You're like at a yard sale and they go like, oh, it's, it's a K, it's a K. Oh, and how much is this? Of it? Yeah, K, it's a K. Oh, no, no, that's a bit bigger. Uh, two, 3K, 4K? 4K. Have you guys seen the Price Master? I just got recommended it on YouTube recently. Fucking amazing. It's a guy who's at a yard sale. They organize a yard sale and they have this like ominous dude, price master. Yeah, I think it's price master. What did I say? AliExpress sensors, yeah. But yeah, people pay a lot of money to go faster. If they have the money. Cheap racing oval. Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, wait, what is it? It's Price Master. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. The guy's like, they're doing a yard sale in the United States of America. Ooh. 
It's just a guy <laughs> just shouts. This guy. The guy who's in charge of motorsport pricing as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the guy who's in charge of motorsport pricing. Sold. <laughs> yeah, it's clear. <laughs> All right, Emilio, we've got two laps to get the job done, mate. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a the the full video is like half an hour long or something. I watched most of it. It's fucking funny. It's it's the same joke over and over again. Person comes in, goes like, "I'll give you like five for it," and the guy goes, five million dollars." <laughs> Is the entry fee. <laughs> but yeah, that's the guy who sets the prices for everything in motorsport. Which is why it's so expensive. Had to get them from Radical. Oh, you have to? You can't get your own sensors? Uh, that's probably why they're a bit inflated, maybe. I don't know, man. I generally stayed away from all that stuff when I was doing it. I can't really say anything. I just know it's fucking expensive. It's like 60 70 dollars per lap. Fucking hell. Uh, the testing, yeah. There's certain safety standards for a lot of this stuff. But for sensors, I wouldn't think. But again, I don't know fucking anything, so. Entry level, yeah. Miata racing. I mean, it depends on what level. I mean, you. I think you can buy sensors from other places, unless it's like a homologated part or something. Rich and scouting for money. Racing a car should be that much. It depends on yeah, it depends on what you what you choose and what you race. Oh fuck. But man, like it's five. Yeah. Anyway, I need this race this to be good. We got Oliver Askew in here. We need to beat him. Quite high. Why people race on the streets? I mean, you can do track days. I mean, now you understand why people sim race. 
Yeah, it depends on which series you run. Like, you can race for pretty cheap. It just depends on which series you run. Which cars... How much your opponents are spending is the sort of the primary factor in all this, really. Because the more money you spend, the faster you go, generally. That's the rule of motorsport. To a point, obviously, but... Oh, we got some fast boys in here. We got an actual race on for once in IndyCar. Let's go. Fast boys in the building. We can only get a fifth. I should have done a slow out lap. Let's see how this goes, man. We qualified fifth. That's by far the lowest I've done all week in IndyCar. Unless you're Toyota and F1, yeah. Yeah, or if you completely decide to ignore every... Every... Uh, every rule for success in F1, then obviously you're gonna, gonna fail still. He took me out of Byron race car, was gonna do some club racing in a 997, okay. 24 hours of lemons is cheap, yep. <laughs> but honestly, okay, like Amelia, seriously, that's- Your engine temperatures are looking better now. That's one of the really good things about, um, sim racing is you don't have to deal with all that shit like obviously like yes like if you want to rig like the one i'm sitting in now it's like 7k i think more or less and like yes that is like a good chunk of money but if you compare that to real motorsport it's completely it's basically nothing and you can sit here and race forever whereas in real life you that's like a weekend or whatever Obviously, depending on what you race and stuff like that. Plus, then you have, yeah, you have the exact same car as everyone else. The only difference is setup. Unless you run a fix, and then you have the exact same equipment as everybody else, which is just like, I don't know. I think it's an underrated aspect of sim racing, man. People don't talk about it enough. It's really fucking good. <laughs> Hook me up another thing. End of the session. P five. Six k per set of tires. Yeah, just to be realistic, right? A lot of driving standards that exist in real life racing would never make it in iRacing would never make it to real life because the financial consequences. People race more aggressively in real life, man. Generally. I mean, you don't have net codes and things, but it, they, people are a lot really aggressive in real life. All you have to do with, wait, what? I run fixed a lot, even open. I find they're pretty good. What the? What do you mean? Did I miss something? But yeah, man, like, um, race is great, man. It's just obviously Real life is a bit more interesting to watch because it's real cars, it's real tracks and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I don't think sim racing is ever really going to be more popular than real racing in terms of like viewership numbers. Cause it's always trying to be as close to real life as possible. It's always trying to emulate it, which is going to be, you're never then going to surpass the thing you're trying to emulate. But it's like, yeah, I don't know, whatever. I'm just going off on a tangent now, aren't I? But whatever. <laughs> Race rental cars with buddies. Rental carts. Okay, that's a big difference from board and clothes. <laughs> Race rental cars with buddies. Oh, God. Nine laps. The track temp is 47. The air temp is 28 Celsius. I know someone who did that in real life. Around one of the tracks we were racing at. Uh, Follow car it. number 03 in the left column. You know that scene from... Um, from Days of Thunder where they're just like smashing into each other in rental cars like if you tone that down to around half uh, that act I, I was I, <laughs> I was that does happen that does happen every now and again 
You need to catch up to the guy ahead. Ring tool for the North Shire. What is that? All right, this should be interesting, man. First, uh, well, we had a good race earlier in the week with uh, uh, with Jacob Reed four. So um, now we're gonna have uh, that was one opponent. Now we've got well four people that have qualified me. I could have done a better quality, like if I was even thinking. Should have done the slow outlap thing and uh, not pushed on the outlap as well but whatever we'll get an interesting race here let's see what happens 3.1k soft We've got 10 push to passes, so we can use one every lap and then have an extra spare one. Okay, it's good we got caps on because we can see the push to passes now. Photographers on the ring for rental cars. The ring, man. The ring. Oi, guys. Legend racing's expensive. Everything's, everything's fucking expensive. Mate, this is, this is the thing, like, iRacing is the best place to race. It just is. If you don't want to spend an absolute shit ton of money. This is why I'm here. I would race in real life, but it's fucking expensive. Even if you want to be pro, it's expensive. It doesn't make any sense. But well, it does a little bit, but it's fucking crazy. Anyway, let's go. Oh, God, what are you breaking for, man? Come on. Dude, no games, man. Come on. Okay, yeah, thanks, you fucking dickhead, focus. man. What a knobhead, man. Why the fuck isn't he anywhere near P1? Oh, big slide. Everyone went off. Expelliarmus Hardcore. Right. Or oh, P2. No thanks to Robbie. <laughs> How the fuck did I get P2? Everyone else went off or what? Sweet start, mate. Keep it coming. Yeah, let's even get this dub. Like All those games for nothing. Well, he started third and he's still third, so... Alright, Scott's got some pace. Follows guys. All right, I'm 
Emilio. Keep doing what you're doing, this is spot on. P2. Fuck. Ah, bloody curb. Yeah, yeah, we're saving the push to pass until... Hopefully Scott runs out of them a little bit. I was burning them up. temperature looks quite high. Oh, he's definitely used the man. I think we got more pace. Been using more the first lap here. You've just done a 141.85. You've just done a 141.59. Really well, well, Relations to tire No, push to pass isn't that big. It's not really going to have too much of an effect. This guy races more like real life racing. Like he uh, feeds you the grass and the exits. He is a real driver. Ah, I knew it, mate. I knew it. What does he race? Oh, my tires are fucked already. Oh, what, in GTs? Nice. Oh, where's it going? 
Calm the left. Moron still there. Still there. Ha ha ha. Fucking still there. Bang. And the car is gone. Calm the left. Still there, still. Get the fuck out of here, Jazz. You're fine. All clear. Pay attention to track limits, please. Emilio. You need to slow down a bit if you don't want a penalty. Another bad car? Okay. Yeah, we can catch him, it's fine. Little deep, little deep, yeah. Yeah, it's a good battle, good battle. The gap in front is now 1.6 seconds. Oh man, my tires are so fucked though after that battle. Let's just figure out where the where the grip is. It's a long time since someone's raced me that hard and not been an absolute bandit about the whole thing. What's up, Dan, by the way? That's half distance. The fuel's okay. So he avoids that that fake bump that's not there in uh, in i racing. You need to pass car. Okay, copy. Oh wait, do I need to? Oh, okay, wait. I was I wasn't gonna do it, but now you told me I'll do it. I'll do it. Fine. I'll do it for you, Dan. Push him up is there. More I sense his regards. <laughs> Fuck man, I'm really on the limit with these tires. That lap time was 142.82. Hey, battling this car is so much fucking fun. The gap in front is now 1.0. Especially on the fixed.
Right oh, I really fucked my tires with that battle earlier. Two laps left. Come on, you're looking good for a podium. Follow. The gap ahead is now 1.1 I don't know man Let's see, I mean it's last half now Oh, soon One more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Your lap time was at 143.28. Sector 2 is 0 0.25 off the pace. Yeah, no, there's nothing, man. Uh, pushed him a bit too hard at the start. So close to passing, though. Get it done though. Oi. He always feels so close in the hairpin. He's like, I'm catching. And then he gets some power and he's like, no, no, you weren't catching. Push the pass. Ah, oh, that's a good race, though. That's a fucking good race. We're on the podium. Good drive. <laughs> Oi. Doesn't he know he gets two X's from that? What's he doing? Why is that? Uh, let's see the battle then. That was fucking sick. Where's the start? Look at this fucking guy, man. Where are you, where are you going? Robbie! Robbie, what are you doing? What is the plan here? Forgot to map push the first shit. What is the... What exactly is the plan here? Is he trying to get a giga slingshot? Well, it didn't fucking work, did it? Ruined it. Ruined it. Fortunately, this guy has no idea what he's doing either at the start. Park three tanks. Like, I have to wait for him to go. 
Oh, I don't fucking know, man. Whatever. But then, fortunately, everyone else fucking just goes off in T1 for whatever reason. Look at this scrub, mate. <laughs> and then I just sent around the outside and got got up to P2 by T2 or T3 or whatever. Is he staying on the primaries? Oh, he just doesn't know what he's doing. Why is he on the primaries, man? Anyway, but then we uh, then we caught up to Scott D. Scott D. Uh, if we can find a good camera angle. Let's go TV. TV cam. Oliver IRL driver, yeah. What does he do these days? He did IndyCar, didn't he? Um, but yeah, when did I start getting close to him? Like, I think I had the pace on him at the start anyway, and then I just like, I tried to pass him, fuck my tires too much, and they were pretty even at the end. Like here it is, yeah, this is where it starts. Yeah, like most people let you have that on iRacing. But uh if Scott is a real life driver. Cause like at that point I would have been okay and then he just comes off the brakes. Uh, lay down a lot of rubber there. He's one day Turner. What uh, Oliver Askew? He did IndyCar. Yeah, he did it for a year, right? He ran Indy Lights and then he went to IndyCar with McLaren. I seem to remember. And then uh, I don't know. I should have showed him the barrier here a little bit more. I gave him way too much room on the outside there. It's fucking sketchy though across the bumps. Like it would have been okay, but obviously the bumps there are brutal. Good <laughs> sideways man. Tires screaming. Then a little bit too much on the outside. Try to hold it. It just left me room. And I kind of knew he was going to close that. So try to get a run here. Ibsen GTD. Yeah, we heard. I try to line myself up. It's a good battle, man. I wish it had gone on a bit longer. I just fucked it. How did I not get a better exit here? What the fuck? Hang on. Ah, uh, right, got on the curb, kind of upset the car a little bit. Uh, plus, it's a bit of a medium speed corner, sort of, with that dip in the middle. Uh, then he goes really wide here. Ooh, nearly lost it. Let me get another run. I think we're both on push to pass at this point. And then we try the outside again, but not quite as good this time. He's a bit better on the inside, and then I just go. <laughs> yeah, I sort of, I sort of tried to like, I don't know, what did I try to do here? I don't really know. I was just way too late. I thought maybe I could just sneak in front on the way in, but then he was still there. He braked at a reasonable time, and then I had to like keep it straight. Anyway, it was fucking good until then. That was just me going off. It was a good battle though. GG's. And then yeah, I have a bunch more push to pass left at this point, but it doesn't, you know. So I gained like seven tenths on him, but. Yeah man, that was fun. That was fun. It's weird racing someone who races you like a real real race for once. It was fun though, it was good. Right, what are these guys trying to? Are these guys. Oh my god, mega beef chant. Someone wrote ho. I don't know where.
Let's see that. Um, but it was a really good battle. Really good battle. Uh, bro chat's going off. Yeah, exactly. Lovely driving Robbie. Pushed me off twice. Hit me up. The hairpin. <laughs> Robbie's making so many friends, man. <laughs> you doored me twice in 17. Once you turned in quite a bit sharp. The other, I have to send it. Otherwise, you push me off like you did before. Fun racing other than that, though. Push me wide every time. It's a bit aggressive. They're not, they're not even shouting too much. Oh, here we go. No, no. Robbie's coming back. Only because you pushed me off, man. Last corner again. Mate, that was literally before. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh my god, it's a whole fucking... It's a whole... It's a whole screenplay here. Whole manuscript. Whatever. Then he took me out in the hairpin. Let's see the takeout in the hairpin then. This lap. AI to sing this chat. There we go. Oh. Yo, what the fuck, man? What is what's going on with Robbie, mate? He's on the primaries. He gave like three car lengths to the to the leader at the start. And now he just drove into the back of this guy. Fully spun him, not once but twice. So much he goes off himself. The fuck, man. Chill out, Robbie. He's gone. I was gonna get involved, mate. Honestly, that was so fucking clearly his fault. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see. Was there previous? Was there previous? Oh, here we go. Oh my god! From fucking nowhere. Okay, never mind. Good thing I didn't get involved. Holy shit. <laughs> was that like a second back? <laughs> All right. I'm not saying what what Robbie did afterwards was justified, but holy shit. Um, was there anything that happened before that that caused him to send him like that so hard? Looks like that's the start of it. I mean, they're running close. Nothing happening here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Battle, battle, battle. Oh, oh, oh. Down the inside. Okay, this one's not too crazy. Still not. Oh, God. It's still a pretty bad move. You'd think he'd learn from the first time. Be like, okay, I was a bit too far back that time. But no, he goes even, even further in. Around the outside, that looks okay. I mean, that's fine. This is this is good racing. Kind of doesn't give him too much space there. Oh, a little touch there. That was a bit naughty. Needs to leave him a little bit more room. There goes the neighborhood. Marks here. Oh no. <laughs> Just line difference, me. Is that what they said? That isn't line difference. <laughs> Well, the second one, yes, it was my fault. First one was barely understeering. Oh my god, man. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, I was. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's everything, isn't it? Yeah, that's the start. It's a good thing I got clear of all this bollocks. Just line differences. That's me going past before the chaos kicks off. Well, let's see that Giga Lunge again. I want to see that. It was fucking amazing. It was glorious. What was it? Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, this was that, yeah. And he's going for it! <laughs> good move, good move. Robust, strong, fair. 
speed, aggressiveness. What a send. What an absolute send, mate. Legal move. Legal line. Oh, we don't even have the drone cam for it. That's annoying. Well, let's see t TV cam. How would this look for if this was real life? <laughs> hey, he's going for it. It is just line difference though, isn't it? It's mainly line difference. Okay, he's just driving around the corner. Oh my god, he's fucking going for it. Bang. What a move. What a move. Guys, thank you for watching today. Um, I'll be back on tomorrow. We'll do some actual... We'll do some Sebring and GTPs. Hopefully it rains a little bit. I wanted to... Uh, I want to do some rain races. Man, it's really fun. The rain races are so much fun. I really like having the variation. Like sometimes it rains, sometimes it doesn't. So then everyone like you don't you don't know what to expect. So people aren't just like hot lapping like crazy a single thing. Even though I've done a lot of I've done a lot of practice on it, I'm probably considered a bit of a hot lapper in that realm now. But it's fun, man. I like it. Um, the 34 will happen. What the fuck does that mean? Ah, uh, oh, we could raid Morad. Or it was in chat earlier. That doesn't work. Oh, it's just starting up. Start your engines. <laughs> or Gamer Muscle or Dario. Dario's on. What the fuck? What is Dario doing online? Oh, Dario's about to start a race as well. Let's raid Dario. We never get the chance to raid Dario. Dario FR87. Yeah, perfect. Wait, this guy's already... Has he already hit this guy? Why is the... Hang on. Hang on a second. Why is the car in front of Dario got a broken rear wing? What happened? What's Dario done now? Thanks for watching. Limit penalties on my awesome quality laps. So unfair, right? I don't see needs fifth track limits so bad. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, I'm gonna get a freaking Start off the line. Bye. Started for taking fools on the front stretch. Some ideals always turns in on me when I'm making a killer move up the inside. See you, YouTube. Then see my racing. Hey, like and subscribe. Bye.